Deadlands takes place in the Weird West, a treacherous frontier where legends are born and nightmares are real. Here, five wild cards come together to seek fortune, justice, and revenge, and payback for Nate. Hello and welcome back to Ox Venture Presents Deadlands. I am Andy and I will be your marshal today and joining me are our players. Hi, I'm Luke. I'll be playing DeLacy. Hi, I'm Jane. I'll be playing Garnet Munro. Seem a little down there, DeLacy. What's 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 eating you? Oh, that's right. Johnny died. Uh, yes, if you missed the last episode, um, it started with our players heading to the town of Dead Man's Worth. Uh, to pursue the former Red Hand Gang member Benjamin Bellows. When they arrived at town, they discovered that uh, Bellows had set this town up as his own personal fiefdom and that every year he holds a dueling contest to draw his enemies out and kill them in public to keep the townsfolk cowed and himself in a position of power. Uh, both De Lacey and the late Nate entered the contest. De Lacey won his duel against uh, Rex Randall, the singing, singing cowboy. And unfortunately, Nate did fall against General Bellows. And that's where we left it last time. So we open um, on this episode. Nate is, uh, Nate's body is being dragged off by the Undertaker to a waiting pine box. Um, everyone is sort of milling around in the aftermath of the first round of duels, sort of placing bets and swapping stories and getting drinks. And there's a... A convivial atmosphere in the street. Bellows henchmen, are they? Are they sort of? They were dragging me back away from. Yeah, you've been basically pushed back into place. Bellows has um, already. He's headed back up the street. He's moving back into the house, and the men are taking up guard positions. You're a dead man, Ben Bellows. Dead man walking. That's you. He just lazily raises a hand and waves like that as he walks in the ornate front doors of his. I'm coming for you, Ben Bellows. And then I want to. Get him! Alright, the men the men do leave you alone and they uh take up position on the on the street. Where's going in? There. I've gone to the Undertaker. Mm-hmm. Cause uh you're not burying Nate in this shitty town. <laughs> so um can I find the Undertaker? the whoever's putting uh, Nate in a pine box. Yeah, he yeah, has the Undertaker. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Don't bury this one. We're taking him Why with not? Us. Bury all of them out in Boot Hill! No no no. We're taking him home. Oh, okay. You can box him up to go. <laughs> box him up to go? Okay, well, I mean, sorry, I'll put him in a sorry, pine sorry, box. Sorry. Yeah. You twist him up in a foil swan. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's horrible. Still be good later. <laughs> no, we're sad. We're There's eating. been a murder. Okay, well, the boxes are uh, they're suitable for transportation. So I can just nail him on in here. You can get that on a wagon. You put out a horse. We appreciate that. Okay, not we'll problem, be man. Uh, it's Soon. a matter of the bill. Who will be paying for this here interment? <gasps> I mean, the pine box ain't free. You mean it doesn't come with the? Is it's not like complimentary for contest winners and losers? I can try and persuade him. Amazing. Make... He, he, he was a grave digger, sir. So he was a grave digger, so he was. But one of, you know, profession. yeah. Isn't there some sort of like grave diggers code. union, some kind of code? Make me a notice Bury one roll. of your own for free. All right, a notice roll. All right, that's a six on my six. And a four on my six, that's a 10. So that's one with the raise. Okay, earlier in the um, in the saloon, um, on all the kind of posters and the sign-up stuff, you did notice the burial was covered in uh, the rules, so um, it becomes clear to you that this man is just trying to ring you out for some, True, right. for some money. Yeah, I'm no fool. I reckon to run you a couple of dollars for the box. Of course, if you if and you want him embalmed, that's going to cost you extra. No, 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 no. What do you take me for? I read the rules. I've seen the posters. This man... Oh, you entered- read the rules, aren't oh, they? Yeah. Oh, jeez. You were so surprised we're how often this works, lady. All right, I won't charge you no extra. It's all, all on the tab of Mr. Bellows. Yeah, you come on right. back in an hour or two, we'll be all ready for you to ship off. At this point, I'd like to burst into the Undertaker's tears streaming down my face. Oh. Shout at you, Garnet. <sighs> mm-hmm. Where were you? Kid, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I ain't even doing nothing. 
I can see he's cut up, but also I have an instinct that he's not a huggable kid. So I keep my distance. I'm real sorry, I, I can see you're cut up and I promise you, we're gonna make him pay. I promise. You just, you just stood there, you didn't do anything. You didn't even try. Well, Meanwhile, the Undertaker drags in the corpse of Rex Randall, which has an enormous gaping hole in its throat and is in its underwear. Uh, was Rex Randall a soon-to-be uh, emotional surrogate grandfather to DeLacy? I don't think so, um, because of the way I shot his throat out. So, yeah. Oh, looks like we got another one! I'm going to take my ra- rage out on the corpse of Rex and just start whoofing it in the ribs. Oh, oh, oh did no. he have to die? <laughs> okay, well, I'll leave you all to it. I got some embalming do out back. Kid, you hear kid, kid. the loud sound of blood being drained out of corpses in the background. <laughs> loud, you say? <laughs> it's like someone sucking milkshake through a straw. Oh! <laughs> okay, right. Okay, you I'm... should have helped him. Help. You should have tried. What do you want me to do? I don't know. What is it that you do do? I shoot my gun. Nate was all wise. Nate knew what he was getting into, or he didn't, and he was a grown man, and it was his decision, and it was a foolhardy one. But here we are, and now we got to now we got to get justice. Well, I learned a thing or two about you today, Miss. All right. Well, we don't have to be friends, kid. We just got to get the job done. You hear some commotion coming from the street, and it sounds like the drawing for the next round of uh, the contest is happening right now in the street, if you're okay. interested in yep. seeing that. You remember what Nate was saying about... <clears throat> Pretend grown-up voice. Okay. <clears throat> you remember what Nate was saying about, like, how you have to find out what people want, not just try and sh- shoot them or scare them or yell at them. Oh, I wasn't there, kid, but that sounds awfully wise. What did he say? Nate was talking about the, the thing he did with the... He pulled that kind of magic trick where he gave that fellow a jerky, and then he yeah. like let us ride. Right, right, right. Yeah, you remember? Yeah. Could we could we try that with this Ben Bellows? Yeah. What is it he wants? Yeah. That guy on the coach wanted jerky. Right. What does Ben want? Okay. Does he want jerky? You know, I think Nate may not have been the old fool that we suspected. That's, um... <laughs> the old fool that we so often called him. <laughs> that we so often called him. Yeah, let's, uh... The stinky old fool. <laughs> <laughs> what does All he right. want? Is this what he wants? Just to kill everyone every year? Well, let's find out. Uh, yeah. The bracket has been drawn! Comes the shout from the street. The man is holding bits of paper. Next round, Texas Slim Hawkins versus DeLacy. I say we go up to Ben Bellows' house okay. and find it. Oh, hang on, sorry, I've got to kill someone real quick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Bellows versus Rosa Connor Morania. The next round will take place at noon. I'll see you folks there. <laughs> round of applause goes up in the crowd. I checked the town clock. What time is it? Uh, well, the duels happened at 6. 6 a.m. So it took about an hour to get through okay. you know, 15 minutes per duel. All right. Uh, so, yeah. 7 a.m. So you've got a few hours nice. before the next. Okay. And did Ben Bellows retreat to his horrible house? In the sort of yeah, he was just watching the um, bracket announcement from his balcony, and once it finished, he's gone back inside. Okay, Okay. all right, yeah, all right, okay. Every bartender wants to just kill Ben Bellows. I know, I know you do, I know you do, but it's not going to work, is it? You've got to be smart. Okay, so you have a a few hours now. How do you want to spend them? Uh, You were watching for traffic in and out of the manor. Is there much? Is it? Is there a patrol, or is it just for Ben himself to come in and out? Yeah. Is there much? Was did I see anyone did coming observe? and going into the mansion? Um, no. It's on a sort of raised platform um, because it's it's quite uneven ground. Um, so there is one staircase that leads up to it. There don't appear to be any other ingress points. Um, there are windows, but they're all shuttered, and there are guards posted outside the door. So yeah, that's what you can see. 
Okay, so I didn't see anyone go in and out, but it, from what I could see, it was, you know, there was a lot of guards and stuff in yeah, there. Yeah, it stands to reason there's guards inside. Do you think Bellows even talked to us? You'll think we're trying to kill him, which we are. Well, we still got all that jerky. Maybe he likes jerky. Maybe he likes jerky. Maybe the one thing he wants above killing everybody is jerky. They say he looked wiry. Maybe he doesn't eat. Maybe he needs more protein. Yeah. Okay. Um, we approach the manor. Okay. There's guards, I guess, on the mm-hmm. door. Yeah, they sort of um, form up in front of the door. Yeah, yeah. They're holding repeaters. We're toting our big samples case. Mm. Jerky samples case. Miss Garnet, what do you do when you're so angry that you want to shoot a fella? Well, you've got to hold on to it until the time is right to shoot that fella. That's growing up, kid. It's being angry all the time, but waiting <laughs> for the point when you can enact that rage. What you just said has become a core. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that's like a that's a foundation stone of an adult personality. Ah, okay, that's clicked okay. into place. All right, right. you just got <laughs> you just got to push that anger all the way down. Can do until the time is right. It's gone. I feel better, thank you. Okay, good. Let's go sell some jerky. Let's go sell some jerky. Okay, there are two yeah. two guards to the door. Obviously, you know we're in town to partake of the contest. I'm here to observe. That's right. I saw this little kid shoot that movie cowboy through the net. Damn, that was awesome. Yeah, and I'll do it again if you don't let us in the house. Yep. <laughs> you ain't coming in the house, boy. No, no. He's, he's got a lot of youthful enthusiasm, but obviously he see. will wait for the contest, won't you? Remember? We're pushing the anger all the way down until the time is right. Yeah, there he goes. There it goes. Uh, but we also happen to be uh, traveling jerky sales people. And okay. we wondered if um, if you and your colleagues and perhaps your boss even would like to partake of some free samples before the next round of the of the shooting contest. It's free. It is free. It's free. Mr. Bellows doesn't eat jerky. Do you? Uh, no. <laughs> Thank you for your time. If you would please move away from the house. I want our free jerky. Our free delicious best Garnet. in the West jerky. Have you ever in your whole damn life ever met someone who doesn't like or doesn't eat jerky? No. So You would literally be the first person I've <coughs> ever met who doesn't enjoy the taste of So jerky. if a fellow was to say to you that they don't eat jerky, mm. you would consider that to be a lie? Definitely a fabrication. And is lying a sin? A falsification. Do it, do that it. is a sin. I remember sir. it being a sin! Give me a performance <laughs> check. Please. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully they're extremely religious. <laughs> okay. A performance? Uh, uh, do you have performance? No. So you're both untrained in performance. Sure. <laughs> Does it show? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, roll a d4 at a minus two yeah. disadvantage. And your six. But we can and still roll a six. And yeah, your yeah, six. Yeah. Okay. Right. Is the, the six is at the same disadvantage, right? I don't think so, no. Oh, okay. Just right. the six is a six. And then... All right. Well, I'm definitely bennying this because I want in that house. That's a three and a one. Uh, I've got four bennies. How many could I possibly can't need? Can't take them with to... you. Yeah. Can't take them with you. Oh. Oh, well, that's even worse than the first time. Uh, all right. All right, Come hang on. on. See, you got I'm going to save a single Benny for later that's in the game. Three I assume and a I won't two. need it. I'm tilting. Oh, that's, that's, that's even terrible. Worse. Yeah, okay, you spend, all right. Spend your last Benny. No, I need one. <laughs> I might need a single Benny. I'm not going to need three. What's ah! That? Was that six? Six. Yes! Six. Thank you, Bennies. And a two. Okay. For a total of eight. And okay. They're Success and race. They sort of look at each other and go, Is this a sin? Okay. They, sort of, they have a whispered conversation. And one of them is like, Young man, there's no way you are getting inside this house. But I will take a sample of your jerky inside for Mr. Bellows to see if he would like to taste it. If he does, I will let you know. Okay, that's all we ask, and you know, there's right. obviously more where that came from. We'd love to do business, to trade, and I'll just get the jerky out the bag. Mm-hmm. How do we poison this in the next five seconds? Well, it's already dusted with opium. Do you remember? It's got an opium frosting on it, so hot dang, hot dang, hot dang, Miss Gun. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. 
I mean, that's that. That'll be enough to throw him off his game. Just um, getting the good s- stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's all it's all good stuff. The of course, it's all high quality. It's all good the stuff. The finest meats. It's all real good. It comes from uh, a cat, a cat, a cow, a cow, a cow, yeah, a cat, a cow. <laughs> no, unless the finest cows. <laughs> Does unless. Mr. Bears. <laughs> Cat jerky? Mr. Bellows That's like. That's from our special reserve. Just hand over the jerky, boy. Just run to the table, cat jerky. Right. Well, no, wait, wait, have some have some more. Like, we, we pass a generous helping. You might want to try these. Oh, pretty good. Yeah, it does. Don't you taste it. You said you'd bring it to Mr. Bellows. Yeah, now you, you said you don't want it. Now you don't get any. Uh, and as we just established... Roll me persuasion. To lie is to, 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 <laughs> <laughs> to interject oh. to that. Really be spending more bennies. So one of the three. I'm gonna okay. roll for persuasion as well. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. I need another six. All right. Oh wait, oh. persuasion. Sorry, yeah. it was, was performance, performance again. Oh, persuasion. Uh, I misrolled. Am I allowed to roll a- again? Yeah. All right. That's I generous. Got, thank you. I got a five, so that's one success. Okay. Well, you're not the one persuading. Oh, am I not? Don't know why you rolled in the first place. So, oh. so it's supposed to be an eight, not a, a four. So that's an eight. Aha. Eight on the eight. There you go, Andy. And a seven on the eight for a total of yeah. maths. He just 15. wants, wants okay. to see us fail. He was raising the jerky to his mouth, but he shrugs, puts it back in the in the bag, um, puts it in his pocket, and he's like, "Run it in. I'll run it in when my shift's over." When's that? A couple of hours. This jerky's not going to stay good. <laughs> <laughs> It's the perishable kind of jerky. (laughs) Young man, do you know what jerky is? (laughs) Um, I think we should probably leave now. Well, yeah, okay. We still. Well, he's put it. He's put it away. He said he will give it to Bellows after. In a couple of hours. In a few hours. In a few hours. We're seven now. Yeah. Well, no, this whole interaction has taken three hours. You lie. Went on for so long. You lie. Um, all right. Well, Sorry. but doesn't that mean Mr. Bellows is going to receive the jerky after? No, before. Before. It's what all of eight a.m. right now. Yeah, Another but four the, hours till. till and he just said the whole interaction took. Yeah, but Andy's noon. lying. Andy wants us to fail. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, you I'm don't. Just... You don't know exactly when this man's shift is going to end. Yeah. It might be before the midday duel. It might he be. He said a few couple of hours. It might be at midday. Um. All right. Well, what would make him end his shift early? Be shot on the legs. <laughs> would make him end his shift early. Can you move away from the house now, please? <laughs> so there's a fire. We have, um, or- we have orders to shoot. This is the other one. We have orders to shoot anyone who's hanging all right, around. We're walking down. Right, we're going. We're going. We're going. All right. Jeez, we're walking down the steps together. This whole jerky conversation was. Yeah. I like jerky. Why? Okay, we're yeah. walking down the steps. Well, we're trying to guard the. So just right, keep a lid Okay, on. we need to re- re- regroup. All right, we've got, I don't know, circa four, three or four hours before high noon. Okay. All right, and we've, I mean, hopefully, fingers crossed, passed on some opium jerky yeah, yeah, that yeah. may or may not get sniffed or yeah. tasted by hated Ben yeah. Bellows. It's a fraction of a plan. It doesn't feel like we're getting into Ben Bellows' house. No, right? no. Ben Bellows, presumably not an honorable, honorable enough person who we could just, like, call them out for a duel right now. Oh, no. so not when there's no, Not no, when there's no. already an organized duel okay. coming up. What we get him out, like you say. Dynamite the house. Dynamite the house. Burn him out. Um, Dynamite the house. Blow it up. Burn it down. I have dynamite. He certainly couldn't get out of the house. I mean, he certainly couldn't stay in the house. Where's, um... I think I'll, I'll see this. <laughs> I'm going to give, I'm giving you one activity per gap between dueling things. It's not, it's not unlimited. All right. All right. So... Wait, no. You made it six hours. <laughs> so, yeah, six yeah, hours. High noon, it's high noon. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Right. Um, the... The spot, the dueling spot. Mm-hmm. There's like, is it? Are there a lot of people around there at the moment? Is everyone kind of? It's a kind of street? festival atmosphere in town. Everyone's yeah, sort okay. of milling around, mm. swapping kind of stories. Yeah. Um, there's a photographer taking pictures of the corpses with one of those big phosphorescent flashes. Mm. You know, all that's going on. Mm. People are selling souvenirs, bits of um, Rex Randall. Yeah, you know, that kind of stuff. The um, the shooters on the rooftops are they still up there? Oh yeah, they're patrolling. Still hanging out. Yeah, yeah. They're patrolling. Mm-hmm. Is it like one per building, or are they in pairs? How are they arrayed? It's, it's one per building. Some have. Um, there's not. There's not loads. There's like you can see probably four. Okay. 
Okay. Like patrolling, they're moving between rooftops. A lot of the rooftops are like joined together. If we could get up on a rooftop and trade places with one of these guys, you know, don their disguise. Mm. We could just snipe him from a rooftop. But uh, I don't know which of us passes as a as a henchman. And we would have to get up there. We would have to take out one of the rooftop <sighs> snipers. Who am I drawn next against? Slim. You've got Slim. Yeah, that's right. Did, Texas Slim Hawkins. Did Slim kill his last opponent? Slim did kill Hattie, his last opponent. So he's he's not going to pull his punches. Why? I'm thinking. Yes. I'm thinking. I'm. Th- <laughs> You're going to have to kill Slim, or Slim's going to kill you. Does that does that help? What if Slim kills me? But not I for reals. Okay. Oh, right. What if everyone thought I was dead oh. by Slim's hand? Oh. Yes. Then. Yeah. Then. I, yeah. Then. Because here's what we got. Okay. We got this, and I want to produce a couple of the sticks of dynamite that I that I have. Mm-hmm. I have six of them. Do we know if Bellows attends the funeral of his victims after a contest? Like the burial. You know, to see him to see him off. Let's because if he did, you could pack your coffin with dynamite. And, or and then, Nate's coffin. Or, or, or Nate's coffin. Oh yeah. Nate Hell of a send-off for old Nate. Oh Nate. Yeah, I was gonna take his body back, but um I think he'd want it this way. I think he'd want it. <laughs> <laughs> we could sw- no, no, no. We could, we could, um, we could swap his uh, his his poor mortal shell out with a whole bunch of dynamite. I mean, this is all on the assumption that Bellows is going to go anywhere near the graveyard after the contest. So why don't we head into this? Go on. If we can get a stick of dynamite, yes, anywhere near Bellows, yes, under any circumstances, yes, I. I swear to you, on Nate's grave, yes. I can bullseye that stick of dynamite from anywhere. Ha ha! Okay, so we just need to get it in his in his location, in his proximity. But then if I can shoot dynamite on him, you could I could just shoot, shoot him. him. Yeah, there is that. And then he'd die. Do this to Sambal! Oh, we should... Comes up the shout. Ah, oh, hell, cats. It, I like the thing where you said you would be dead, so... Uh, right. what, do we have time to talk to Slim? Do we have time to uh, talk to Slim? Having heard the shout, Slim is already moving towards the, the staging area where the uh, duelists are, are checked over for it's a right. little. I'm quick. Rig. I can. Yeah. I can. Uh, I can. I can fake it. I can go down. I can read him. How quick are you? Th- you're not going to die when you're shot in a duel. I'm not going to get shot. I'm just wondering if there is an advantage in you being dead. Good not. But how are you going to pull that off? Oh, well, he, he'll he'll try he'll and do shoot the you. duel. He'll yeah. try and shoot me. Yeah. I won't get hit. Yeah. I'll pretend to die. Oh, okay. I'll tell you what. While we're setting up for the duel, yeah. you go bribe the doctor. Yeah, yeah. Who can so de- the doctor needs to be in Yeah, honest. the doctor's the one who actually declares. Okay. Me. You know, yeah, so we're not going to talk to Slim, but we are going to talk to the Doctor. You go talk to the Doctor, I'm going to square up for the duel. Okay. Plan. Um, okay. Of a plan. So you're Beginning going... Beginning of a plan. Beginning of a plan. You're going to go and see the Doctor? Yeah, I'm going to sidle up to the... Okay, and doctor. you are this, heading... Give me... Just give me... Just give me like a little... If this works, mm-hmm. if it worked, give me a little symbol, mm-hmm. a signal. Mm-hmm. And if it didn't, give me a different signal so that I kill Slim. Got it. Okay. 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 All right, I mosey out into the street. All right, Start so... Start sizing up Slim. You're going to go and see... See the, the town doctor. Yeah, the doctor is on the... Um, there's a sort of... Uh, uh, he has a doctor's office, which is just off the main street. It gives a good view of the uh, of the dueling area. He's like out in the doorway to watch the proceedings or something. He's just... Like he's got. A, he's going through his... He's got a Gladson bag full of uh, yeah, okay. medical accoutrements that he is okay. kind of going through and checking, making sure everything is... Ship yeah. shape for the upcoming carnage. All right, I rap on the door, Doctor. Mm-hmm. Doctor. Yes. Uh, sorry what to is push. it? 
I didn't catch your name, Doctor. Oh, uh, Doctor um, uh, did Bunsen. Doctor De Bunsen, yeah. Oh, Doctor De Bunsen. <laughs> Doctor De Bunsen is the name. Oh, it's Garnet. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Mm-hmm. He seems distracted. He's sort of going through syringes. I imagine it doesn't pay terribly well being a doctor in a in a small town, mm-hmm. a small oh. corrupt town like this. Oh, it's surprisingly well, actually. You wouldn't be. T- You'd be amazed how many people try to bribe me to sort of declare people dead. No. Things like that. It's actually, yeah, it's quite. Uh, so you take bribes, is what you're saying? Well, uh, people try, you know, but uh, Bellows, he understands it's a uh, serious business, so he tends to, he pays me quite well, actually. Oh, and how do you feel about this hmm? uh, Bellows? Well, I, t- I, only, I don't live here all, full time. I just come in for the tournaments, you know, oh. make a bit of money on the side. It's actually okay. very lucrative. Um, tend to do this, uh, take off for six months, you know. Um, uh. Go through South America in a wild opium haze and then come back for the next tournament. Opium, you say? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, I can sort you out with a whole bunch of opium right now. <laughs> not not needing for opium, let's just say. Uh, South America is rather full of it. Well, I yeah, remember. People who love opium famously think that they. Can <laughs> we have enough opium. Well, I, have to keep I couldn't take any more <laughs> opium. <laughs> not another bite. <laughs> keep like, a clear mind for a certain amount of time per year. Right. And then, you know. well, I cast my mind back to Nate's. It's very wise in retrospect advice about finding out what people want most of all. Mm-hmm. His, his voice ringing in my ears. And uh, so, what what is it that you uh, what is it that you want most, Doctor? How do you how do you where do you see yourself in, in ten years? Well, I enjoy getting paid money. Okay, That's sort of the main thing. I right. Do. You know, it's not it's not pleasant. No. Being in town during no. this, this whole thing. I don't imagine when you decided to become a doctor you thought this is how you would be yeah. playing your trade. I was rather a fan of Rex Randall. I enjoyed his radio series. Right. Yeah. Very sad what you happened know, to I him. Und- I understand. Yes. You know who plays that? He's the cowboy on the, the ghost rock wireless system sure. they have at the moment in those yeah. serials. Um, it turned. Some people found out he wasn't a, a real cowboy. I think he was trying to prove himself, you know? He was yeah. down here trying to make a name for himself. Can you imagine? It's tragic really. Lost to a child. Tragic that the, the things that Bellows has done to Embarrassing. this town. Yeah. Honestly. Well. Going through the bag. Was there something I could help you with? How much to declare my friend dead when he loses to Slim? The, the boy with the hat. Yeah. Well, Doctors have to be make a... mistakes all the time. He might have the appearance of a dead child and... And not actually be ignored, be how much money do you have? Five dollars. Five dollars. It's time to kill him, take his bag, pretend to be his assistant. <laughs> uh, not for five dollars, thank you very much. Um, ten. Now, if you'll excuse ten, me. Ten dollars? I don't no, know what the economy ten, is here. No, not for ten dollars. Well, well, how much, man? What's your price? Everyone's got one. A thousand dollars. thousand dollars? What if? Yeah, one dollar now, nine hundred and ninety-nine dollars <laughs> up. Well, now you're talking. <laughs> I'm not here. I'm not. I can guarantee you. I can guarantee you that my my friend and I we're walking out of this town with the prize money for Ben Bellows's goddamn gun shooting. Well, not if he loses. Yeah, but and I but, declare him dead. Yeah, but we'll still get our hands on it, and it's yours. If you declare him dead. I've seen all this before. I, do you know what will happen to me? What he'll do to me if he finds out? He'll, he'll be dead, is the thing. We are, we're going to kill him. We're going to liberate this town. Madam, I don't know you. I know Ben Bellows. I know what he's capable of. I've oh. seen it. Yes. But he won't be capable of anything when he's dead. It's a thousand dollars is what it would take for me to do this. It's unbelievably dangerous. Will you take an IOU? I will not take an IOU, no. How about you take an I? O U. O U. Take an I O U. Yeah. Uh, okay, we'll cut to DeLacy now. You're. Alright. They're just sort of um, checking you over, making sure you're alright. You, checking uh, me over? Yeah, just making sure you don't have any illegal rigs on Get you. off of me! Illegal rigs. Rigs. Checking in. Yeah, Do you take me for? Like a mounted launcher or something. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, a, like a swivel rig or something, you know, something you can <laughs> oh, okay. use. Yeah. Cowboy cheating. Yeah, cowboy cheating. Okay. Um, one of the men in dusters and the, the black hats is like, um, you uh, you one of the jerky, you one of the jerky seller, sellers from earlier. What of it? You want more? 
No, Bellows didn't eat any, but he asked who it was from. I said it was, uh, he said it was a kid with a hat. Uh, he, he says he, he wants a word with you after the next round. Right. If you win your, he says if you win your, your matchup, he'd like to see you. Right. This is what he said. I'll let you know. Tell him I think This about one's it. this one's fine. Let him through. All right, you're you're th- through into the into the staging area. Um, Garnet, how's it going? <sighs> Doctor. Hmm. Do what I tell you, or or I'm gonna have to hurt you. Okay. Well, that is an intimidation roll. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Roll intimidation. Let me let me quickly get some stats for this doctor. <laughs> Dr. DeBunson. Dr. DeBunson. Dr. Yeah. DeBunson. You know it. I am not skilled in intimidation. Just... Yes, you are skilled. That yeah. good luck. Yeah, Here it comes. Here it comes. Here comes, Here comes the luck. Dice. Mm, that ain't gonna do it. I'm like, I'm gonna have to hurt you. <laughs> okay, well, the doctor, um, he rolled, he got a six and then oh. a five. So oh. that is. Um, a success with the raise. Yeah. So he's not mad, but he has seen this kind of thing before, and okay. he's just like, "That's even worse." Yeah. Like, his, I know his pity is is painful to me. I know it's I know it's hard. Like none of us want to be here. Uh huh. But it's just the way it is in this town. There's got to be a better way I agree to kill Buns. Uh, Buns. Sorry, to kill to Bellows. Kill <laughs> no, 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 no. We're past that. There's got to be a better way. I agree, but we don't know he's what it is. No one man. knows what it is. He's too well protected. He's too quick. It's just the way things are in Dead Man's Worth. And the quicker you understand that and live with it, the better it'll be for you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare for the next round. I look over to the uh, doctor's building, house, dispenser, whatever. Yeah, 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 the, the, yeah, pharmacy, yeah whatever. the pharma pharmacy. I stand in the doorway and I'm yeah. like, it's not happening. You're going to have to kill. I say with my eyes. You're going to have to kill Slim. Slim, I just got some bad news. Uh, why the lacy? Why would that be? I'm going to kill you now. <laughs> okay. I guess I'll try and kill you too. Alright. See which one of us is quicker. Whoop. <laughs> I don't flinch. No, he doesn't. Or at least I, I, I would like to. I would like to not flinch. Oh man, I get a kick out of you, the Lacey. You are just the coolest little kid I ever did meet. Yeah, ain't I the living end? I believe it's noon. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Um, it was yeah. It was the two of you first, wasn't it? So you both yeah. um, step out onto the right. uh, onto the dueling field. I feel like, obviously, I'm immensely confident, and rightly so. But I feel like I don't have quite the same sort of immense sort of sense of like swelling power that I had last time I did this, and I don't know why. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Fine. That is. That is. That is all. <laughs> that is all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. The two of you line up. Um, all right. Slim seems to have sobered up a little, but he's he's just sort of like looking around him. Mm-hmm. Doesn't seem. Yeah. He seems distracted and just like. Oh yeah. You know, his usual way. Are oh, you looking for um, my friend Garnet? Hmm? Oh, yeah, your friend. Where, where'd she go? She went to the doctor's. He was talking about some miracle cure or something. I don't know. I'm young. I don't think about illness. Hmm. Anyway, are we doing this? Uh, yeah. I, okay. Some kind of incredible elixir, he was saying. I try, I try them all, son. All right. Get ready to die then. Okay. Uh, all right, let's deal you some cards. So I just want to try get... and mess with him a bit. Yeah, maybe he's making wonder. Yeah, yeah his his does power... he have to die? Yeah, his yeah. powers derive from thinking he's going to die in, in yeah. three months of mm-hmm. tuberculosis. Yeah. Yeah. Just a little, just a little, the note of uncertainty. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So from the doorway of the dispensary, I um, I shuffle a deck of cards, and I cast the hex as earlier. Yeah. How does that work? Uh, well, I'm not going to do a deal with the uh, devil. Uh, I'm going to cast me using my power points, and I'm going to use that to boost Delacy's shooting skill um, to the tune of one die type or 
however the marshal chooses to interpret it. Yeah, an extra card. Yeah. We're going with for that. Um, All right. Excellent. You want to see a roll for it? A PowerPoint presentation. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right. Um, you want to? Delay you guys. Kills <laughs> <laughs> over. You better not. Oh, okay. That's a six on my eight, so that's a success. It's not success. my fault, but I excel at role playing. <laughs> Word. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> okay. Um, Playing with fire. It's a crime. Yeah. You really it's might just kill us. Cops. Uh, okay, so, DeLacy, how many cards am I dealing you for the for the whole card at the start? That's one additional one. So you got one additional one. Um, well, I mean, I guess I just get one, but I can discard and redraw it if it's five you or get, lower. You would get two. If, you, if you're already getting one, an additional one from Garnet, then that's two. Yeah, so that's two. Um, unless I get three for the sort of mind messery that I attempted on him with the illness stuff, but let's I guess actually, both let's, that's up Yeah, to let's you. find out if that worked. Do you right. mean in, like uh, an, an intimidation roll, let's call it. Cool. Intimidation. Don't have that. Uh, Don't need it, though. That will be opposed, yeah, spirit roll. Come on, intimidation. I need that extra card. That's a six. That's a six. Six out of four. Yep. So, do they both explode? Was one of them a... One of them a six D4. Six on six and a four on the four. Um, yeah, Oh, so. no, but that... that Four would be minus two, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, right, a, a yeah, because it's a disadvantage. Cool. Yeah. So you can explode six. the six. On the six. Uh, plus two. Eight. eight. Okay, success with the raise. Yeah, I'll give you another card for that. So, yeah. Nice. All right. All right. Let me. Looks like this chump doesn't want to die. <laughs> well, too bad. Well, too bad for him. Yeah. Go. Got a good feeling about this duel. Yeah. Real Not going to kill another character, would you, Andy? You wouldn't dare. I mean, ha ha. Ha ha. That's pretty good times. Yeah. Mm, not bluffing. <laughs> Said the person who wasn't bluffing. All right. Anything else you want to do? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Let's do some mechanics. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll go. I'll go. For, I'll go for a taunt. Okay. Uh, who did Slim kill last time? It was Hattie. Hattie. Yeah. This should be a pretty easy one. Uh. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, you took down that, what was the name? Hat, Hat, Hattie, Hen, Henrietta, something like that. Hattie. Hattie, yeah. I seen quicker. I seen quicker. Sure. I seen. Uh, I seen quicker. How do you finish uh, that sentence, huh? I seen. I seen. I seen quicker. Oh, slow. Oh. You seen quicker. Uh, I seen quicker molasses hey. than her draw. Yeah. Pretty good. Um, all right, do a. Intimidation roll. Oh, why you gotta be intimidation? Const constant things I have to do. One, two. But this is a roll. I've got two bennies left. It's early. It's early though. But you saw my cards. I've just got one left. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Six. Single precious Benny. Six and a four, so that's minus two. So it's the same as before. Six uh, and a one, so seven. Okay, so you're in this in this situation, you would be removing a card from okay from Slim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. Just okay. removing one at, at ran it's, so it's random. It's random. So yeah, I would. Uh, in fact, if you say left or right, and I'll remove the remove. Like a claw machine. Hmm. Remove the left, please. Okay, left card discarded. I'm now going to deal. Yeah. Everyone gets one more action card. And then we're going to mm -hmm. show each other our top card. So the, tr the train whistle screeches. The two of you go for your weapons and... It's a nine for Texas Slim Hawkins and a jack for DeLacy. Uh, so describe... Through the throat, what please. <laughs> Okay. In one frame of animation. Okay, well, just, yeah, describe what happens. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I sort of size him up as soon as I, I hear the whistle before I thought, you know, there's like a synaptic connections in DeLacy's brains that by, bypass his sort of co the conscious part of him. Mm -hmm. And in a moment, his arm is up, the barrel's already smoking, okay. and um, there's just no throat left on Slim anymore. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Slim sort of grabs his throat again, just sort of 
Yeah. Jetting's still holding his gun. Mm-hmm. And he just sort of smiles at you and just gives you a little salute and then just keeps going backwards. I'll give him a little salute if he goes down. Yeah, what the hell? Cool. Um, yeah, uh, he is He is down. Uh, the doctor runs in, throws up the X. So Lacey, you're through, to the, you're through to the final. You're next, boss! You come out of there now, settle this immediately! Oh, wait, he wanted to see me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm coming up to see you, Bellows! He's probably standing next, next to you. He stood on the balcony yeah. of his house, so oh, he's, okay. like, he's up there. But then, um, Doesn't he have to fight Yeah, him? he's coming down. Oh, okay. Oh, right, all right. So he sort of... He, he does hear that. He tips his hat to you. And then, um, yeah, they clear away. Clear away all Texas Slim. Um, to Lacey, you are free to leave the, the area, and we're going to set up for... Um, Rosa Connor Marania versus Benjamin Bellows. Come on, just... Rosa. Come you on. never know. Rosa. <laughs> I'll run this um, very It'd be pretty sweet, wouldn't it? That'd be pretty sweet. Uh, 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 uh. How's Rosa looking? How's she shaping up? Is she confident? Hmm? Oh, yeah, How she's she looking. Look? She's. It's just hard to read this Rosa Connor Marania. Um, she beat Bill pretty handily. She yeah, shot she his beat... gun out of his hand. Yeah. Yeah. She's. Uh, got a, a sort of world weary air to her um, okay. she looks like a sort of career outlaw gunslinger so she looks like you know she can handle herself um, um, okay so the train whistle goes uh, Rosa draws her gun um, but Bellows is quicker he shoots the gun out of her hand and everyone sort of applauds and Rosa's like okay and then he shoots her in the chest <laughs> and everyone's all good She's just she's just lying on the floor, going, ah, ah, and sort of screaming, and um, yeah, and uh, Bellows um, walks over to her and shoots her again. She stops screaming. What kind of contest is this, Bellows? Wait, 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 wait! He shot the gun out of her. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, 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 sorry. Shot the gun out of her. Shot her in the chest. Yes. Went and shot her again. Yes. Shot Nate. Mm-hmm. He's only got one bullet left. <laughs> you don't think he reloaded <laughs> since this morning? <laughs> <laughs> That's sweet. I've been counting. He's only got one bullet left. That's sweet, kid. It's but gonna be easy. The man, the man's reloaded since this morning. Guaranteed. <laughs> it's a possibility. <laughs> I'll bet, every, I'll bet everything. everything. He hasn't. <laughs> um, okay. Before so our he... duel, I'll say what say we shoot. I, I shouldn't. What say we shoot our guns in the air once? <laughs> <laughs> As a sign of sportsmanship. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so the applause sort of petered off as he, yeah. he shot Rosa. Yeah. And then he looks, sort of looks around the crowd and he's like, everyone's just fight. And then a big a big round of applause goes up. Um, Not very sporting. Yeah. He strikes a match on his boot and lights a cigar and him and his men start up towards the house. He whispers to one of them and uh, one of them circles back. And uh, he says, um, it'll meet you. Uh, in front of the house uh, this evening, just before the duel, half five. Not, why, why not immediately? We're free yeah. now. Why not now? And that just sort of fixes you with a glance. It's like, walks off back. Why not now? Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Can we go to the saloon? Yeah, uh, the duel. Is the can. bartender behind the bar? Mm-hmm. Um, couple Tear of drinks, inside. please. Been a hell of a day. Mm. Whiskey? Yeah. You want whiskey, young man? Didn't seem to like it that much last time. Kid needs a drink. I drank a lot of whiskey today. I think I could uh, use a milk. Okay. I like to drink a milk after about 10 or 15 whiskey. Aww. <laughs> One milk coming up, man. man. I like to drink some milk after I've shot two men in the throat. <laughs> whiskey, man? Yeah. Okay. Of course, I one shot of whiskey in, in a shot glass, a little shot of milk for, for Lacey. Thank you. The poor one shot out for Nate. Is that a cowboy thing? Or is that much later? <laughs> no, I think that's... that's you had just invented it. I've just invented it. Okay. <laughs> you invented pouring yeah. one out. And then I, I, I had my glass over for another. Nate. Right. Refills your glass. Nate. To Nate. Sweet. Okay, so you've got. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa! Tell me, barkeep. Oh. What happens after um, after whoever wins, whoever that might be, wins the contest? Do you have like some kind of well, ceremony or? Well, usually, what happens is Mr. Bellows wins, and 
He yells at everyone in town about how he runs town and how they'll never escape and how they all belong to him. And everyone sort of says, yes, Mr. Bellows, because they don't want to get shot. <laughs> and then he sort of goes back up in his house and we all carry on, you know, mining and giving him all of the profits. And that's pretty much how it's gone the last few times. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And no one, no one attends the burials or anything like that. Oh, I mean, you know, once we've stripped everything valuable off the bodies, what yeah. would be the point? We don't know any of these people. They all come in from out of town. I see. I see. Okay. And the prize just goes back to the manor, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, Mr. it's Mr. Bellow's money, and he's won it every year, so I guess he just takes it back up the house and looks at it. I don't know what he does with it. Okay, well, so Mr. Bellows do the rest of the year. Oh, he sits up there, sort of smoking cigars and yelling at people. Seems to enjoy it. Had that statue made, that took a while. And sometimes he rides out on business, he's gone for a few days and we all relax a bit, and then he comes back into town, he's all shooting the ground and making us dance and all that type of jazz. That sucks. Yeah, 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 he does. Mr. Bellow's pretty prideful of that statue. I think we should blow it up for some reason. I mean, he'd hate it. He'd hate that. And I am increasingly cross at him. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm so cross that I'm making... I'm increasingly not bothered about making good decisions. (laughs) We're just flailing wildly. Not flailing wildly. We're doing really well. Yeah, well, I mean, we could plant some dynamite at the foot of the statue and shoot it from cover and that would surely destroy the statue and he'd be awfully mad. Yeah. Why do you think Mr. Bellows wants to see us? I don't know. It's either... He didn't eat the jerky. Do you think he smelled it? it was... He's pr- I mean, well, you know, he seems pretty, opium. pretty smart and pretty evil so <sighs> it does does seem like he's not, not calling us over because he wants to invest in... What do we call the company? Premium meats du jour, fine meats du jour, finest meats du jour. Something like Meat that. strips du jour. Meat strips du jour. There we go. Name okay. it was always Nate's no, business. No, it was Nate's. He was so good at naming businesses. <laughs> <laughs> We're not that good. We can't remember the name. No, well. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you've got enough, a little bit of time, not mm. much time, mm. not time to wander all over town doing everything, but <laughs> you can probably all do right. one, like one thing. Like all right. Got one statue. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Alright, go and do my object- palace. The objective is? Yes. Kill, Kill Benjamin, Benjamin Bellows. Bad Burrows. Bad Benjamin Burrows. Bellows. 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 Get the ring that's currently on his hand. Yes. Okay. Forget everything else. You're in the saloon. Mm-hmm. You're right here. It's this time of day. What is the... How... How do how? you... How do? How do you... How do you do it? I mean... I think that we're playing his game. Yeah. The we're doing right? is just how he wants. Yeah, his rules. His rules. His game. I could kill him in this duel. You could I kill, kill him, him in easy. This duel. Yeah, you could. You, you, yeah, right, that's the plan. <laughs> kill him in the duel. It should have been the final one. Hey, Barky, does, um, mm-hmm. does Benjamin Bellows, does he have any kin? Not that I can remember. No loved ones. I've never seen him with anyone but them guards he has up at the house. Maybe he loves the guards. Maybe he loved, maybe the gods. Is. Never seen him love on them gods. <laughs> no Mostly weaknesses. yells, yells at us. He's yells very angry. Gods. He's that's, very a weak, angry. that's a sort of weakness. He'd be furious if we blew up his precious statue. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and also he'd hate it, and also I'm really mad at him. <laughs> All right, how about this? It's a kind of revenge, blowing up a man's statue. How about this chaos mode? Yeah, chaos Plant some, mode. Plant some dynamite in the statue. Yeah, see what happens. Then, when it comes time for the duel, and yeah. we both stood there, yeah. I'll just shoot the dynamite, blow up his precious statue. But you'll be dead because he'll have shot you at the same time in the duel. Oh, what if? I was thinking that we blow up the statue beforehand so that he's so furious he he's can't. Go- he, comes shoot storm- he comes storming. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. Additionally, yeah. we go mess with the whistle on the train. So. So that it, so that it blows. Yeah. Like. 30 seconds before 5 p.m. Um, when he's, or when, oh, so that like it doesn't go? So, well, we could do that, and that would be frustrating for a time before they found a replacement for yeah. it. Um, he's been doing this every year, right? Yeah. He must, 
Is he, is he cheating? I... Is he cheating? I think... Like, what if he knows, like, exactly yeah. when the whistle's going to yeah. blow, right? Right. Like, maybe he's got, like, line of sight to a clock or he's, he's being given... He's been, yeah, been like Yeah, he's been thrown... That. He must be being thrown, like, some signal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. No one gets... No one... No one's he's this... He's not supernatural. No one's this lucky this yeah. many years in a yeah, row. Yeah, I think he's supernatural. I think we should go and inspect... The train whistle. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, yeah. And on the way back. Got well, some dynamite on, on the, the back, <laughs> Yeah, well, like... Chaos we, mode is a backup. I think what, what I want to do is I just want to... And presumably it's okay because there's no dueling at the moment. I just want to, like, stand in the spot where I know Bellows is going to be. Mm-hmm. And oh, I just, yeah. just want to, like, stand there, yeah. frame it up in my vision. Yeah. And just try and imagine, like... What else can you see? I, I want to focus dead on where your opponent would be stood. And then I just want to like do a little sort of scan of my peripheral vision when I'm looking at that spot. Like, what can I see? Is there anything? Cool. Yeah. So um, behind you is a statue. Okay. Um, either side of you is the, the the street. You have the Undertaker and Doctor on the left. The saloon on the right. Is this so? Is it the is the statue in front of his house? Yeah. So it goes his house, the statue, statue mm-hmm. the street, and then where the he'll be stood or where. Yeah, and then where he'll be stood. So he has his back to the statue. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, okay, cool, yeah. And, um, yeah, at the uh, the very end of the street is the... um, uh, Signal? Like a train signal, is it? Well, it's the train sidings. So that's where you came in on the uh, the horse and buggy. And uh, over, if you were to look to the left, you can see a little ways down, there's the the train uh, locomotive, which Mm. has the steam whistle in, and that's where the... The whistle sound comes from. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, like, can I see anything else? Should we do a notice roll? To try yeah. And I want to look like I want to look for an open window. I want to see like how close the sort of do a note do a notice fellas roll. on the top are uh, for what you can see here. Mm. Uh, it's two sixes. Oh well, I hope you do better than I did. I've only got one Benny left. Come on, I feel like notice. this probably isn't the time to. Oh. Can I roll that again? Yeah, that's cocked. Well, that was a, that was a one. That doesn't count. But this one. But this is one a is a six. It's a five. It's a five. That's a success. Okay, so that is a success. Yeah. And you, so you're just sort of scanning. You don't really see, nothing. see much. Head um, empty. Mm. Lacey, you look towards the locomotive, and you can see that um, there's a guy in there. There's a guy, presumably, whose job it is to pull the whistle mm. um, at, the, at the appointed time. Mm. Um, so yeah. yeah, I don't know why I thought it was automated, but there's there's someone there's someone there pulling the whistle when the yeah. time. And well, I mean, if I was in a duel, I'd look for that fella's arm moving rather than waiting to hear the whistle. I mean, everyone in this town is in the pay of bellows. Who's to say this guy isn't somehow like putting his his thumb on the balance and? Yeah, somehow. All right, well let's let's go rough up this guy. Let's yeah. go, no, let's go let's go talk to this guy. All right, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, you want to go down and talk to the fella in the yeah. locomotive? All right, yeah. so you, it's not far. Yeah. It doesn't take you long to walk over to the locomotive. Um, there is a youngish man in there with sort of like wispy, uh, wispy sideburns. Does he look like his spirit has been crushed? Um, no, he looks quite cheery, actually. Not a local. Um, he's wearing a little uh, locomotive driver's cap okay. and a sort of uh, little waistcoat. Um, he's just reading a newspaper. All right. And uh, just, yeah. Hey there, fella. Oh, hi. How, how can I help you? Oh, we're just really interested in uh, this steam whistle. Ah, she's a beauty, ain't she? Yeah. Oh, I'm so lucky. I get to pull a whistle. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Fine work. <laughs> real great job. And Mr. Bello sure takes care of me. Remind me, when do you pull it? Uh, so I have sp- specific instructions from Mr. Bellows. <laughs> I have to pull it four seconds before the hour. That was easy. Okay. And yeah, and then I pull it and it makes the whistle sound. Yeah. Uh, 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 so you pull it and then four seconds later you get a whistle sound? No, no, no. No, so um, Mr. Bellows, he told me... Hmm. Actually, never mind what I said. I just, <laughs> I, 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 I just pull the whistle uh, at the exact right time. At the exact right mm-hmm. time. You're doing a, doing a great job. Bang yep. up job there, fella. Mm-hmm. All right, we huddle. Um, it's this guy. It's four seconds before. He's got a... Yeah, but I, I, don't, I don't understand. I don't understand because the folks dueling don't know exactly when it's five, right? Yeah. Or noon or whatever. Yeah. Everyone's just 
shooting when they hear when the they whistle. hear the sound. Yeah, but there, there, there's um, there's a delay clearly. Like this guy's climbed up now. I say gesturing, he can't hear me. Um, but if uh, you know, like you said, if he can see this guy pulling the whistle, and then four seconds later the thing goes, he's got a four second warning. He's got a four second head start on on drawing. Nobody. Uh, if I you, understood. No, he blows the whistle four second. He blows the whistle. And there's four no seconds. delay. Okay. I don't think so. Well, I assume he reaches up, goes. <gasps> okay. Yeah, I mean it's mechanical, isn't it? Is there a town clock? I don't ask the. I'm asking you as marshal. Like, have we noticed a town clock? There isn't a town clock. Um, the uh, the man in the uh, carriage he has a mm. pocket watch on a fob, mm. um, and uh, you've seen you've seen a few other people with watches. Bellows has a okay. pocket watch. All right. That he wears as well. All right, listen up, Bella. We didn't want to do this. Well, in fact, I do want to do this because it's been a long day and we've lost a good friend. Have you seen what my friend here has been doing all day? Oh, have you been in the, the dueling contest? Have you not been watching the duels? I just mainly stay in the carriage. I'm pulled the... It makes, makes the whistle. Okay, well, this young man has shot the throat out of two skilled gunfighters today. Oh, gosh. And it well, would that be, sounds awful. I mean, it will be for you because it'll be the easiest thing in the world when he shoots your throat out, because I don't think you're a gunfighting man. Uh, intimidation, please. Oh, dang! I have to try for intimidation. <laughs> Can I roll this as well, just for a yeah. kind of steely... Yeah, yeah, steely, yeah, yeah, steely yeah. Can it be like an assisted To be honest, this, this fella isn't much older than DeLacy, so... <laughs> okay. I got nothing. Sorry. Damn it! Spending this off. Come it on. It sucks to keep losing rolls! Oh, dang! Well, what was it? It's an opposed roll, so what was your highest? My well, highest was uh, two. Two. Can't tell me he didn't roll higher than a two. Yeah, the highest he's got here is a three, so he's he did roll extremely poorly. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Just to, I just do is, what I'm told. I just pull the whistle. But this is but this is weird. I don't get it. I don't see how it gives... I don't see how it gives Bellows an advantage. He's got a timepiece of his own, perhaps. But clearly it's something to do with this, so we just need to mess with this and then his game will be thrown off, even if we don't understand the mechanism of how it helps him. <sighs> I wrecked the steam whistle. No, 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 I didn't mean literally. Well, no, I, we wrecked the steam whistle. Right. We were like, oh no, something we'll have to, to, use something a have to steam whistle, we'll have to mechanism. use something else. Use yeah. like town clock or like someone yeah. else, someone just, you know, someone else fires a gun in the air or something like that, you know. So, like, you know, change up, break his rhythm. Yeah. Okay, well this kid's it. not intimidated. He's not. Intimidated, but he also sort of he's he's only really interested in the Steve in the Steve. locomotive. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's just sort of he's just like friendly and curious. All right, all right. We can uh, destroy the steam whistle. Yeah, is that like a sort of? I mean, we're in a we're in the engine of a train, right? Yeah. So, so There's an like external that. pipe. What? All right. We've got. Delacy's, no, 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 no. Delacy's a, a, a dead eye, as we all know. So we tip our hats to what's what's your name, fella? Uh, it's Ned. Ned. Oh, Ned, Ned, like your horse. Like my horse. Well, you ain't so humble, though. I prefer his horse. I just sit here in the train carriage and have anyway, a we'll, whistle. Anyway, we'll be off now. Okay. And then... Well, if you ever want to learn more about about <laughs> ghost rock trains, then yeah, yeah, consult yeah. your local library. Okay. Um, If we retreat to a concealed area, place of concealment, you can just dead-eye the whistle from far away, and then we'll have plausible deniability. We won't... We yeah. won't be the ones who obviously destroyed the steam whistle. Yeah, it'll make a noise. It, Probably people will yeah. know, oh, that goodness. I, know that I shot my gun. But oh, well, no, someone shot a gun. It'll be fine. There's Just lots of guns in town. You uh, you push push over something big at the same time. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There was a piano in the saloon. Yeah. You go tip the piano over. <laughs> yeah. Right. We synchronize timepieces. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of synchronizing time. <laughs> At exactly 4 p.m. <laughs> okay, right. So, okay. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Can I go back to the the, the dueling ground? Uh huh. All right. I want to look and see if there's anything like on the street, just like. Let me explain my thinking. Mm -hmm. Sundials. <laughs> right. Mac okay. I think. Okay. Bellows has like some sort of marker in the dueling field that means that he sees like when a shadow is exactly gonna be like 
5 p.m. Mm -hmm. So, and so because he knows when it's going to be exactly 5 p.m. He just has to go. He, yeah. Although, no, then it would be. That'd be. No, no, no. Well, his timepiece shows him exactly four seconds before 5 p.m. Right. And when he sees that shadow hit that, he knows that as soon as. But then what's the four seconds about? Like, why not just make it. 5 p.m. Well, we'll ask his cold dead corpse. Yeah, right, we'll ask his cold dead corpse. All right, we look we look for that. That's my theory. For... Markings on the ground, Imp- telling shadows. Improvise sundials, I wish to have searched for. <laughs> I, I guess. Do and if this a... doesn't work, let's just kill him in the duel. Let's just destroy this. I guess this do yeah. a notice roll. Yeah. I think we did this notice roll. Yeah. But now we've got a theory about sundials. Yeah, but now we're looking specific. But we were looking for we were looking at like the skyline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah. Now we were, we're looking, looking for, for like signals he was being given from a window or a little reflective yeah. light or something. He or said like... the street runs east to west. So that's something. Yeah. So you know, the sun would be kind of slanting down a- across it at the point where it mm. you know, so I should probably just roll, shouldn't I? Yeah, one and a two, waste of time. Okay. Good. You don't see any improvised thunder. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, dang. Um, We could... What if we... uh, Kill him in a duel. No, go for it. Go for it. Kill Ned. Kill Ned. You wouldn't kill the doctor, but you'll kill... Okay. Well, now I'm mad. I'm getting increasingly mad and vengeful. Kill Ned, you blow the the whistle. Kill Ned, and then I operate the steam whistle. But how... What will you do differently? Call it four seconds later. But I... I still don't understand don't the logic of yeah. the whistle. We don't know how But he's... it would still throw off his game because... It's like... It's like this fella's doing some kind of witchcraft or magic. Yeah, he's a witch. So I right. wish I knew more about that stuff. I wish either of us did. <laughs> you know, kid, I don't, I don't think that would help. I don't think it is magic. How do you know? I think it's real smart stuff. All right, it's getting up to 5.30, which is when Bellows wanted to see you, so... All right. What are you going to do? Uh, draw an ace and shoot him in the throat. <laughs> okay. He did actually, yeah, he does actually want to. He does want to see yeah. you. There's, some, there's something, I don't understand it, but there's something going it's on. the steam whistle. Yeah. It's maddening to know that it's the steam whistle and not know how to deploy that information. Yeah, but, but I, I just, unless he has some way of knowing when the steam whistle is about to blow, then he's just doing what everyone else is doing, which is shooting as soon as he hears it. Well, there must... You know what? I don't think we need... A very one accurate timepiece that, like, that he chimes knows when in his four pocket seconds or something? To, yeah. The whistle is a mechanical device. Mm-hmm. There's instantaneous and there's instantaneous. It can't be, like, this, the, the very instant the whistle is pulled, it makes a sound. It's steam. Steam has to build up has to build up pressure before the valve goes and then the whistle there must be a yeah. sound or a sight and if you can see the fella tell, if you can see the fella's arm go yeah that's exactly gonna, there's yeah. got to be some yeah other and we know that the fella is visible tell. from the yeah from the dueling field so maybe he just sort of watches for the fella's arm if move. it's a fair if it's a fair gunfight then he wouldn't mind swapping places with you love it so swap places with him okay yeah all right well let's go meet him and we'll we'll offer him we'll offer him that and when I say offer, I mean insist. So I'm not killing Ned, then? <laughs> I think you ate me, yeah. Probably, be- probably best not. Okay. All right, let's go to the let's go to the manor. I wouldn't say we got a plan, but we got a, you know. Um, we got right. some ideas. The, du- the duel's going to happen straight after this meeting, right? Yeah. So, like, can I just give you my dynamite? Yes. Okay. Take, I take delivery of several sticks of dynamite. I don't know what's going to happen next, but if things go weird. Yeah. You throw this at Bellows. Yeah. I'll we'll do the rest. Okay. Don't, so you, get, sh- don't get shot, kid. Are you both going up to the house or just you? Do they well, we're both, we're both yeah, salesmen. He, yeah, we're both yeah. salespeople. We're both in this business together. This right? is a jerky uh, meeting, not a yeah. duelist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're here lab. as jerky sellers. Yeah. Okay, the... Um, I tuck away the dynamite. Ox Venture Presents Deadlands will return after these messages from our sponsors. This episode of Ox Venture Presents Deadlands is brought to you by Misty Mountain Gaming, and we're playing with some of their new Cage Gear dice today. You can get a set for yourself and see some of their other gorgeous Misty Mountain Gaming products by going to mistymountaingaming.com. Now available at store.outsidexbox.com, Ox Venture Playing Cards. It's got a fine Ox Venture motif on the back of the cards, and on the other side, all the normal playing card stuff. Clubs, spades, diamonds, whatever the other one is. Hearts, of course, it's got all four of them. 
So check out store.outsidexbox.com for these fine playing cards that will improve whatever game you're playing, unless it's a video game. Hey, hope you're enjoying Oxventure Presents Deadlands. Maybe you want to show your support for the show on your body. Well, don't get a tattoo just yet because we've got t-shirts. Check out the link in the description of this video to get yourself the official Oxventure Presents Deadlands artwork on a t-shirt or in the merch shelf underneath this video. You can find it either place. Check it out, put it on your body. Don't scar yourself for life with the artwork just yet until you've seen the whole series and know how it ends. Because, you know, it could go off the rails. All the gunmen from the roof uh, um, during while you were down at the locomotive, they've moved up onto the balcony of the um, of the house. So there's right. two men up there. Mm -hmm. There's uh, another couple by the door, um, and another one walks up to meet you in the street near the statue. Golden and um, it's just like um, your weapons, please. Uh, okay, Mister Mister Bellows um, won't meet you unless you surrender your weapons until after the meeting is done. Um, then I'll meet Mr. Bellows in hell. Okay. Um, are you? Is this the same deal for you? Do you want me to go talk to Bellows? See what this is about? Yeah. Okay. Am I going to get patted down? Because I'm carrying several sticks of dynamite. Um, <laughs> uh, I think they're looking for sort of obvious. Do you have a gun in a holster? Yeah, I've got, yeah. Yeah, so piece. they'll, yeah, they'll right. take, the, take that. I um, rarely used cult. Peacemaker. Yeah, so it's a mining the, town. Dynamite's not a weapon. It's simply it's a, a tool. tool. Yeah. yeah, like any other tool, like a hammer. Well, they yeah. I say so, okay. They do, discover, <laughs> they do discover. They do discover the dynamite on a pat down. Um, <laughs> yep. You need this to go and talk to Mr. Bellows, do you? No. Um, uh, sorry, this is the dynamite, is it? Yeah. Uh, no, this is just my walking around dynamite. Walking around but dynamite. Uh, okay, yeah, we're gonna hang on to this as well. Oh no, we'll you can give it, it to my. He, he can. He can take it. It was his. All right. Well, you can. can we'll have it him. back as soon as you finished your discussion. So. All right, and you're you're just gonna stay here, are you? Arrow eyes as response. I see. All right, well, Mom, if you'll come with me. Um, so yeah, you walk up to um, uh, to the balcony of the house where. Watch, um, watch yeah. yourself in there. If anything happens to me, it's you kill this man dead. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So the balcony sort of runs around the side of the house, and they lead you around to the to the side of the house where um, Bellows is sitting on a uh, a sort of wicker chair. Okay. Um, enjoying a glass of bourbon. Yeah. And he's, uh, he sort of sees you and he's like, where's the other one? He was just here. <laughs> he was disinclined to uh, to hand over his weapons. That's his uh. way, you know, so. Uh, oh, converse with dead men! <laughs> and, and, and that. I did invite the both of you, but... I can't be having people come into my home with weapons. You I understand, understand your rules, but um, those are my colleague's rules. He doesn't part with his gun. Well, this is slightly awkward. I was mostly interested in talking to your friend, Delacy. Well, you can consider me his, um, uh, his messenger. I just wanted to say that I admire his work. I've seen what he's done here today. And I've been impressed by the way he killed those men. Reminds me of me when I was a young man, and I was simply going to ask DeLacy if he would like to join my organization. I'm sure we could find a role for you as well, Miss. What was your name? Miss Gunro. Gunro? Munro. Miss Gunro. Let's slip there. I like. <laughs> I like the sound of that gun row. Like you line your enemies up in a row and then you gun them down. Gun it, gun row, gun yeah. row. <laughs> there we go. Put it on my character sheet. I think you'll find life here in Dead Man's Worth for those who opt to join my organization is very comfortable. Does that seem like something either of you would be interested in? Pretty anticlimactic end to the dueling contest <laughs> well i mean yeah, for the, yeah. i'm thinking of the i'm thinking of the people you know the people assembled the festival atmosphere you know yeah they got to see a winner um i've not seen think... many come through with skills like the lacy which is why i ask i think i know what he's going to say but um put down my drink <laughs> let me just go run it up the flagpole mr bellows by all means i'll be right here all right I walk 
backwards off the porch into mm-hmm. the yeah okay sat um, under a tree yeah picking my nails okay how'd it go well, he's a big fan he likes how you shot those people in the throat sicko I know and he would like he would like you to join his crew now obviously you're insulted and you don't want to do that you want to kill him kill him dead but the reason I didn't say no is because it might it might be useful for getting closer to him and killing him dead. Or I can just go over there now and tell him to go to hell. What do you think? What do you think? I don't know what to do. I think we should tell him to go to hell because I think we've got a plan. Everything I've seen of this fellow yeah. makes me think that if he's really envious yeah. or uh, admires my shooting skills. Yes. yes. He's, he'd rather see me dead. Uh, yes. Folks like that, I don't think they like people as good as them. You're an old soul, around. the Lacey. An old soul, wise beyond your years. Thank you, Miss Garnet. All right. How about we kill him in a duel then? Let's kill him in a duel then. But I'm not above cheating. I'd love that. to cheat. We love to cheat here. All right, I walk back to the manor. Maybe tell him that we'll consider it his offer if we both happen to survive have both happen to survive the duel we still want to do and the duel right because to, we love dueling yeah. yeah and if he's alright to swap places yeah and maybe just I don't know blow a little opium in his face <laughs> stamp on his toes or something. okay do what I can while I'm up there right if you get an opportunity to yeah, just yeah, yeah. outright kill him you oh you it. know I will you know I will alright I go unarmed again back mm-hmm. to the manor. I brush aside the guards on the door. Yeah. Walk back onto the porch. Well, what do he say? Well, he is just so mad for dueling, you see. He said no. I understand. He didn't say no. He said that he needs to defeat you. He came here to fight you. He came here to win the duel. He needs to win the duel, but... He agrees to not shoot you dead. And then you can let him into your service. Or if you win the duel, he agrees to enter into your service. If you win the duel, I wasn't even all that to begin with. And that, that's bad, though, because then he won't want you in his service. Yeah, but, you know, but he won't mind. Fair, yeah, fair, yeah. fair. Yeah, you know, okay. Wouldn't, you know, yeah. Wouldn't want this is anyway. what we discussed. Yeah. He sort of smiles to himself and he's like, Seems a shame for a young man of such obvious talents to die out here in the middle of nowhere. It would be a shame. It's like... It's like there's a marble statue in there right now. He's just a, a big old hunk of stone. But with the right sculpting, man, he could be great. But I understand how it is. It's gonna be a shame when I have to kill DeLacy. Thank you for your time, ma'am. Man and the men form up around you they're going to escort you off the porch so you're being taken off the porch oh. you're being taken down the stairs wait wait wait, wait, wait. but I thought that was that was only if you agreed to continue dueling you're being taken down but the he street. is agreed he's going to duel us oh yeah yeah okay well that, yeah we're going to try the we're going to try this position swap on the street oh right yeah okay yeah because yeah. it's like in front of all those people yeah. you can't admit to Damn, it being right. an unfair contest okay yeah. I'm just going to go and stand in his spot and get ready you know act like I'm getting ready for the duel you yeah. know just sort of because it makes no odds who stands in which spot if Between it's a pistols, fair duel. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right, let's yeah, let's make this a roll because he is not going to want to do that. So he's only got two bullets left. <laughs> um, let's make this a taunt roll because yeah. you're going to be trying to like taunt him into taking the bait um, to sort of prove it's. Yeah, well, I'm just I'm just going to stand here and wait for him to tell me to move, basically. Yeah. Just you know, yeah. So he's loading, he's he's walking down to the street bullet. to take his position for the duel. Um, he's like, uh, "You in my place, Delacy?" I don't see your name on it. This Why does it matter? Where, this is where I always duel, and this is my town. Great Get news. The other end of the street, young man. Today's a new day. It's the way I see it, both sides is exactly the same. This way, you can look at your lovely statue while you shoot me dead. The crowd are sort of like craning their necks at this. They've never seen anyone sort of talk to Bellows mm. like this. Les Bellows is a superstitious kind of old fool! Now, Delay. Has to have his lucky side of the street! 
There's no need to be raising your voice now. Do me a taunt roll. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, is taunt a skill? No, taunt's not a skill. This is... Mm-hmm. Yeah, skill. Like taunt. an individual skill uh-huh. for taunting. It's wow, annoying. It's so specific. It's annoying, I don't have you it. You thought of taking taunt as their skill. All right. We need this one bad. All right. You don't even need that, Benny. Because here comes... Here comes a six. Here comes the explosion. That's a four. Yeah. Oh. But that's Untrained. so. It's, that's well, minus two, yeah. isn't it? Well, well. Do I get to roll it and then I minus two? Because it exploded. Does it get to explode if it is a four on a four? Yes, it explodes. So you're on. Yes, you're on two. Okay. But you can roll again. Yes. So, so, the, I, so I need this to be a two or better. Right? Yes. Yes. Because so I'm gonna hit. have to subtract two off the final yeah. number. It's a three. Yes. That's five. Well, that's five minus. Wait. Wait. Yeah. That's not as good as I thought. No wait. So, no wait. So wait. So, no, 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 no. so I got a four well. plus a three. Plus a three, which is seven. Seven minus, minus two, two is five, five, which is a success. Five. Yes. In your face, yes. Andy. We wouldn't. Wanting us to fail. Okay, so the total is seven five. minus two. Which yes, is five, five. So that is one success. Squeaked by. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. We did and we. So Bellows is sort of looking around the crowd like, yeah, you should. Yeah, it shouldn't matter which side of the, yeah, of the street you, you stand on. We doing right. this or what? Nearly five by my reckoning. Six. Delacy can't tell time, he's just a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Are we talking seems, or are we doing, yeah, yeah. Bellows? He seems kind of amused by this, he's like... Okay, Delacy. Okay, he seems amused rather than terror rattled because yeah. his great secret has been exposed. Oh. No, he's just like... Alright. Okay. I'm disappointed. So he's going to walk down Fine. to the other end of the street, but... Fine, alright. I think you have deprived him of one of his advantages in dueling. So okay. Good. That we still work. don't un- fully understand. But yeah. Good. Yeah. All right. All okay, right. Good. What else? Well, what else can we do to to screw him up? Well, I am going to lower his shooting trait. <gasps> I'm going to lower his shooting trait. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Hang on. Yeah. Mathematically. Mathematically. Is it better yes. for you to remove one of his cards yes. or to give me one more card? Bearing in mind, I can swap out anything that's five or lower. Ooh. Oh, let's math this, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's better for me to enhance your role because you've also then got... Yeah, because yeah. I get a do-over yeah, on Yeah, 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 that makes right? sense, yeah. Well, in fact, I can do both. I, I believe I can do both, so let's go all out. Okay, so what are you doing? I've, I've, I've regenerated enough power points to better game it. Okay. Um, I'm going to stand to one side, let's say on the boardwalk of, I don't know, the nearby shops or something. And I'm just, it looks kind of too casual, like a little bit callous that this kid's about to die and I'm like playing with a deck of cards. Maybe Mm -hmm. it's an anxious, you know, nervous habit or something, but I'm playing with a deck of cards. And if you look very closely, you might notice that they're kind of, mystically twinkling or, or what have you. Sure. And I, I, um, I invoke a hex that, that improves Delacy's shooting skill, that kind of bolsters his ability at okay. gun shooting and also lowers the same for, uh, I cast another hex that lowers. Okay. Do you need to roll for these? Bellows' shooting abilities. I surely do. I need to do a smarts roll. So let me grab one of these and one of these. And this is for, this is for Delacy's shooting skill. And that is not what I had hoped for. Okay. It's not that good. All right. That is a fail. That is a failed hex. And that is a success. That's an eight on my eight. Oh, I haven't told you about raises or hexes and a six on my eight, so that's 14, Mm -hmm. which is one with two successes. And that means it is lowering Bellows' shooting skill by two two die types. Okay, so we're taking two cards from his hands. How many cards does he have left? Uh, We'll find out. Okay, so Delacy is being dealt just one regular card to start. Okay. And then he's getting a second card in the second. So he's only getting two cards. But he still gets to choose one because of his edge. Yes. As it stands, yeah, yeah. I haven't done a taunt yet. I haven't done a taunt yet. 
I throw a little taunt on him. Okay, yeah. All right. Retaunt him. Okay, uh, oh, let's see. Uh, well, now that he's facing... Well, that's, you'll, be, you'll do that in the second round. Oh, right, okay, yeah. cool. All okay, right. So I will deal Fine. you your initial card. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think it's going to be an ace, so our ace is high or low. Ace is high. Cool. Give me that ace. Okay. Uh, that's very good, very good. And you wanted to taunt or something similar? Uh, yeah, well, now that he's facing, like, up the street, mm-hmm. and behind me right now is his statue and then his house, Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to sort of, like, just stand there and, like, just kind of eyeball him and then kind of spin around and just be like, your teeth don't look like that. <laughs> okay, yeah, roll intimidation. Someone did a crappy job. Well, to actually roll taunt, I guess. Yeah. If you're taunting. Taunt, another skill I don't have. An astonishing lack of shooting. Using my sh- mm-hmm. my shooting sk- I'll put everything into shooting, I said. That's all I'll need, and then he in, said. And then in the dueling contest episode. Turns out there's a lot of everything else going on. Okay. One and, and six. Yes. And a, and a four. And a four. So that's a ten. So that's a success with a raise. With a raise. Okay. Success with a raise, so we're going to take a card away from... Oh, sorry, I should have let you choose which card you wanted, so left or right. Oh, yeah. Take away the left, please. Okay. Okay. Um, so yeah. that was round one, so now I get, one. So I get get one, one more card. One more card. Before I look at this card... Yes. Uh, yeah. It's Garnet. Yeah. It's Garnet. Yes. I think back to the conversation we had. Just before the draw began. Just I mean, before, before the, into the middle mm-hmm. of the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I'm gonna kill this bellows guy. Yeah, you are. Violently. Yeah. For Nate. Right in the throat. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. But if something should happen to me as well, like I uh, get hit by a train on the way home or something. Uh huh. Like you know, I got. Would you just go and tell my ma and pa what happened? Tell him I love him, and that, and that I'm sorry. And I pass you a little. I'll just pass you their address. I mean, as much of yeah. yeah. But I suppose address. Do they have addresses in the it's wild? The town. <laughs> it's the a, town. Yeah, it's a location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Head, the Red House. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Red House. Head east, yeah. seven hundred miles yeah. until you see a house. Yeah. Okay. Right. Now I'll look at my card. Oh no. I'll have a different one, please. Oh. All right, you ready? Yep. Choose your card. I, in character and out of character, I, I Garnet cannot look. Like she is paralyzed by being unable to intervene here. Okay. Uh, on three. You both go for your guns. One, two, three. <laughs> Same time to Lacey. In fact, you haven't t- turned your card round, which means you didn't draw your gun and you're shot dead. No, <laughs> What's that? King of clubs? King of clubs. It's pretty good. Ace of spades. I think you know what I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Uh, okay. Please. Um, the whistle blows. Um, do you look to the to the guy to see his his arm move? Uh, I'm just gonna like look up at the sky, and I'm gonna think about Nate. Okay. I'm gonna think about some of the things that he told me, some of the times that we spent. Today and yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the good, good it. times. Yeah. The good, good times. Uh, yeah. And when I hear the whistle go, I'm not even really going to look because he's in my peripheral vision down here. I'm just going to. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. Bellows also got a gun out, but a bullet goes <laughs> through the through gun, the side of his neck, through the inside of his gun, <laughs> fires yeah, wide. Sorry. Yeah. Um, he's. He looks well. So you heard the scream of the whistle start, mm-hmm. and it was this as if the scream didn't stop, but the sound is coming from bellows. He's just like ah, and he's 
clutching his neck, um, and he he's fired wide. He's missed mm-hmm. you, and he's sort of fallen backwards. Yeah, on his butt. Yeah. And now he's scooched around behind the statue, and he's like, "Get them!" to his men, and we are going to go into combat. Oh, and hell okay. No. no, good. He's so, only got one bullet left. <laughs> I have. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we have in the combat initiative we have five gunmen and um, fellows. Okay, okay. So we're going to deal. Okay. So initiative order. That's for you. That's for Garnet. Okay. okay. So, so that's the mine. See, there's a two. No, I'll have that again, please. Oh yeah, you're right. No, thank you. Joker. Hey. All right, yeah. That's, that means you can go whenever you want, and also cool. both of you get plus two to all your rolls. Well, heck yeah. Right. Well, all rolls. Uh, during this round. Yeah. We Forever. Obviously redo. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, it's a three. Ah. The Garnet. Rats. Bellows here has a queen. And then we have the gunman on a nine. A five. An ace. Good job. And a six. All right. Um, because you got a joker as well, Delacy, you both get an additional bonus. <gasps> so nice. Give me it. Good yes. job, everyone. Um, all right. Uh, so you've got gun, two gunmen on uh, the roofs either side. You've got one gunman in the street, and Bellows is taking cover behind the statue, sort of back to the statue. Okay. Um, he's holding his gun and he's, he's shouting orders. Um, Delacy. Yeah. Uh, it's your go, round one. And um, Garnet, you're going last. But uh, what I will say is, Garnet, as as this fight kicks off, you hear a sound um, coming from the Undertaker's behind you that sounds mm-hmm. like this. What? What? Yeah. So uh, you hear this this banging noise. Okay. Coming from the. Hello. Oh my. Hello. What? Okay, I scramble into the Undertaker's office or the, the funeral parlor, I guess. Yeah, you've got a while till it's your turn, so you can. Um, I'll let you take this as a free action. Oh, okay, I can. You can go in and check out what's going on in the Undertaker's. Okay. Um, so we'll take Delacy's turn and then we'll come back to you. To okay, fine. Going. Okay, all right. Um, what I'd like to do, if it's all right, is those damn fools patted you down, didn't they? Yeah. They wouldn't let your Taker dynamite in. They, they know, I gave it back to you. You gave it back to I me. I gave it back to you. So, I just want to whip one of them out of my pockets and I want to lob it at the statue. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And just as it gets to the statue, I want to shoot it. Shooting roll, please. Okay. Shooting, is it? Now that. Finally! So, it's on a 10. Uh, we can add one to this for trademark weapon. And we can add one to this again for marksman. So we can add two, and then it's also plus two for the Joker, is that right? Plus two for your rolls, yeah, yeah. So we add four to whatever this is. Sure, yeah. Cool, all right. So. Let's no. see. So, yeah. Yeah, let's see it, roll it. Well, that's a one and a five. five. So five. That's a success. Yeah, so five, plus six, two. seven, eight. Nine. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. That's that. That's Success yeah. with a raise. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. yeah. This this works. You hurl the dynamite towards the statue and you shoot it. Um, yeah, I guess the statue explodes. Um, yeah, it's or made of metal. Topples dramatically, <laughs> uh, towards crushing him. bellows. The top part of the statue explodes and showers him with shrapnel, um, mm. slicing him up mm. real good. Yeah. What would I call the damage on this? And he is bleeding from the throat. Yeah, true. He has already taken one wound. He's a so tough he's, he's, I guess he would be shaken. Fast. Okay, yeah, he is partially behind cover, but the cover he's partially behind is exploding. Um, so let's call that two D... Okay, wow, that is... In fact, you should roll this, shouldn't you? Because it's your okay. damage. Yeah, uh, yeah sure, sure. Um, all right. 2d6. 2d6. Five and a six. Okay. Plus... A six. Wow, okay. Plus a two. Or a total of 14. Six plus six plus two, yeah. 
Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. And we're not adding a two for the Joker because this is a damage roll. No, that's a success with a raise, so he takes another wound from the exploding yeah. shrapnel. Oh, cool. All right. Bit of shrapnel in the other half, half of his throat. Yeah, yeah. he's just got the middle throat. <laughs> now. Good. Good. His head's sort of wobbling to it from. Yeah, on uh, by a flap. Okay. Uh, cool. Um, Garnet, you're at the Undertaker's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. banging sound. I'm scrambling around. There's There are a number of pine boxes in here. I'm listening for the loudest coffin, I guess. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I'm... Um, yeah, you see one that's... Um, that's kind of... It's like juddering rattling. around. And in fact, you can hear... Uh, you can hear a voice. Hello? If this is Rex, I'll be really annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> it's the singing cowboy, the matinee You're cowboy. only here? <laughs> All right. I am... <laughs> Only half convinced that I'm really hearing it and not having some wild hallucination or, uh, or something supernatural is going on. But I uh, grab a, a crowbar. Or, yeah, there's or a pry bar. A, a pry bar door. from uh, from the side and like wrench the nails off. There's this a pry bar coffin. by the door. How often does this happen? Oh yeah, <laughs> this is the emergency pry bar for when we put someone in a coffin who's amazed. not ready. I go and grab a pry bar and, and wrench the nails out of this coffin lid. Yeah, and like heft the coffin lid off the pine box and I see what do I see? Well what do I see? In Nate. Oh my god! Oh, ah. oh my god! Oh, ah. It's Nate! Oh Nate, what happened? What's going on? Oh gosh. Oh, oh hang on, we need to make space. Oh yeah. We didn't we're think you were coming prepared. back, Nate, so we got a yeah. bit comfortable in the I your literally space. put my phone on the chair, on the spare <laughs> chair, because we don't need that anymore. Uh, I look Garnet dead in the eyes and go, Did I win? <laughs> <laughs> Old man, what the hell? What's going on? I, I don't know. I you was... were shot clean in the chest. I look, is there a, is there there a bullet a wound? There is a huge oh? ragged hole in his chest. Oh! Oh! oh. Beans! Oh, that's still... All the you were dead, is, man! All the colour is drained from the his face. The doctor said. Uh, oh. Well, this is certainly a first for me. Um... Are you? I, gr- I grab his hand. I grab his wrist. All right, I'm feeling for a... And I know a thing or two about a thing or two, and I've got a suspicion as to what's going on here. There's no pulse. Oh, man. Hmm? I'm glad you're back. But, um... We're in the middle of a firefight outside. Oh! I'll have to catch you up, but, um... I think very neat with the shotgun, probably. <laughs> yeah. I, I, uh, I think we're going to have to have a talk. Sure. Yeah. Afterwards, but I'm I'm real glad you're alive again, alive again, and uh, and Delacy's going to be delighted if we survive. Well, well let's uh, go make sure that um, we all survive then. All right, I'm dealing Nate into the initiative order. Yes. Oh, Yay! Can I have a, it's a king, but can I have another one so I can take the lowest? Oh, yeah. oh no. it's a ten. Oh yeah. A ten. Oh, a ten. ten. That's still good. Perfect. Damn. Okay. All right. Springing out of the grave. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, gunman, gunman number one, um, old old Gunny, as yep. his friends call him, is going to shoot a gun at you, Delacy. I'd like to see it. You're the one in the street, um, and he's got a rifle. All right. Uh, so, I'm how's this work then? I'm not been sh- shot at yet. Incredibly. Yeah. So I'm going to do a shooting roll. Okay. Against your toughness. Okay. Oh, interesting. Uh, he's, not a, <laughs> he's not a wild card. This gunman. He only gets the one dice. Okay. He rolled a five, which is a success. Mm, great. Fair enough. On All the right. shooting roll, and now uh, all the damage on that. Okay, that is a. That is a six. Does that exceed your toughness? My toughness is four. It's okay, just a so I've kid. exceeded it once, but not any more than that, which okay. means you are shaken. Oh, right, cool. Did I get and shot, or did I just get like nearly shot? You got nearly shot, but not wounded. Okay. So, I hear, but you are shaken, so yeah. You, in your I hear head. the slug humming past my ear. Yeah, basically. Um, so. Jeez! Yep. Yeah. Uh, so you'll start your next turn shaken, and you'll have to do a spirit roll if you want to do any anything interesting. Yep. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, the bullet whistles past you, and you're like, "This is maybe the first time you've been seriously shot." Yeah. I fall on my butt. Okay. <laughs> right. Uh, cool. Okay. Next up, we have um, Bellows himself. So uh, he is still in the sort of ruins of the shrapnel. He's like still holding his neck. Shouting orders to the others, and he is just gonna like lean around and he's gonna take a shot at you as well. Blind fire. Let me see. Well, he's gonna, he's looking. 
He's looking. Um, okay, so shooting roll on. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's an encouraging noise. Okay, um, and I'm gonna roll damage. My okay. toughness is four, as okay. you've heard. It's a success with the rays, and you're already shaken. Uh, so that's dose wounds. Oh! Delicious. Damn. Ooh. Oh, you monsters! Ah. Where did I, uh, yeah, okay. So I'm sat flat on my bum with my legs out like this. So I'm, I don't know, maybe through the foot or something? Yeah. When you think it occurs to them, they might be the bad guys. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up to Lacey! He shouts from behind. No, it's actually. I briefly consider that. For Nate! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. But now it's Nate's go. It's now Nate's to go, yeah. 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 So. Um, if I sort of uh, exit the, um, the Undertakers, how mm-hmm. close am I to the nearest goon? Um, there's one in the street, like, almost. Right in front of you. I'm gonna blast him with a shotgun. Mm. He hasn't seen you. His back is to you. <laughs> just so. gonna sort of totter up and go, "Hello," <laughs> and just try and blow him away. Yeah, cool. Give me a, give me a roll. Great. All right then. Do we use both barrels? <laughs> we'll save one for. Uh, I'll save. Yeah. All right. So, da, da, da. okay. So this is a double barrel shotgun. So we get plus two to shooting, and that's six. Uh, that's a four. So that's ten. 12, so that's a hit with two raises. Yeah, you blow his spine out the front of his head. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't even need to roll damage. Nice. It might be an idea for us, this is going to sound obvious, mm-hmm. to kill Bellows. Okay. Because I think our only hope is that Bellows' death makes all the other gunmen realise that like fighting is pointless. And there are so many of them, and I'm and, I, and I'm, I'm lying wounded in the middle of the street, and they're all on rooftops. Are they all on rooftops? Yeah. Now, because the, the only... The, the remaining four are all the, on... Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay. The, the, the spined ones that was good, though. are all on yeah. rooftops. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, like... These gunmen aren't wildcard, so I, I'm like... You could roll, oh, damage, you could roll damage, but... Yeah, um, yeah no, I... Yeah. Well, this guy's done. On 4d6, which yeah. is what it would have been with the races. Yikes. Yikes. This guy's done. And the lacey would have seen that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the spineless guy collapses, and behind him is Nate. Yeah, terminatoring out, out, terminatoring out of the. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit! <laughs> oh, Nate! What? How? It's cool. We've got him. We, we have a man to kill. Shoot um, now, ask questions later. All right. We're learning from each other. <laughs> uh, gunman number three has seen all this, um, and they're incredibly taken aback. They raise their repeater, they're going to try and shoot at you, um, Nate. Mm-hmm. So let's see how they do. Oh, they have not done well. Uh, they um, try to aim at you and get distracted by a bird or something. <laughs> and just all fire, fire wide. <laughs> Do they get the bird? <laughs> they get the bird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the bird is shaken and takes two wounds. <laughs> the belt of wild card. Yeah, wild, wild card bird. bird. <laughs> He's off. The wild. greater invention. Uh, okay, the, his friend next to him uh, sees that, and he is also going to try and shoot at you. Um, okay, that is a success. Um, Toughness five. Evil damage. Oh my god, snake eyes. All right. Um, oh. Snake eyes on a damage roll? It's just. Okay. It's not all damage, really. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, he succeeds in shooting at you, but um, I guess you are already dead. Yeah, I just kind yeah. of like. <laughs> just take a bullet. I'm like. Uh. It what? sinks spongily into your <laughs> palate. <palace, like. laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, okay. And um, the gunman next to him, it's now his turn, and he. Does not succeed. Uh, he sees this happen and just sort of forgets to shoot because he's so taken aback <laughs> by what's going on. Uh, Garnet, it's your turn. All right, I like to to charge out of the Undertaker's office, like grab Delacy by the 
lapels or the mm -hmm. collar or by the scruff of his neck or whatever, yeah. whatever comes to hand, and just body him into like the, the next door across the road, okay. whatever that is, because they're up on rooftops. So what the hell? I had him! <laughs> he says, bleeding. <laughs> And I bundle him through the doorway so that we've got Thank a little you. bit of cover. Yeah, that's that's good. That's um, uh, yeah, do you want to do anything else? Can I do anything else? Um, can I can I give you another stick of dynamite this turn? Is that? I mean, can, I could definitely grab you them off. Can take you. it out, like, yeah, 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 you yeah, take I it out my pocket. Yeah, lift them off um, you. How does that work? Because I've uh, yeah, you've moved, moved across the street. Yeah, you yeah, you can do other, you can do other stuff. It would just be at a penalty. What kind of penalty? Like a minus two to your roll. Oh, okay. All right. Well, after bundling. Delacy through the doorway of whatever building is across the road from the Undertakers and into the door, yeah. into cover. Gun shop? Is it the gun shop? Is it the gun shop? Um, <laughs> no, any chance? Let's, let's find see. out. If Town's got to have a gun shop. Yeah. Um, do, me, do, me a, do me a faith roll. It's the home faith of a faith roll. It's the home of a young inventor, uh, an Edwin Carbine. He's <laughs> <laughs> got a hot yeah. new invention. Yeah. Uh, I don't have faith, as it were. So I'm going to roll at a disadvantage, and that is a four on my four, and then a another four on my four, Damn. and then a three on my four. So that's four plus four is eight plus three is eleven minus two is nine. Nice. Yeah, uh, you, well, you have um, blindly stumbled into yeah. Simon's shooting irons. Yeah, so Simon. <laughs> the <laughs> finest pistol sh and rifle shop in all of yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Dead Man's yeah. World. Yeah. yeah. So that's where you you are now, yeah. Okay, splendid. Uh, but that wasn't my go. That no, was just that to... was just to find out where you turned up. Okay, yeah. well, yeah. you know, because I'm in a hurry, hence the penalty. I draw my cult peacemaker and just sort of shoot back. Um, yeah, you can from see from the doorway. I put the wait, no, no, no. What am I doing? I shoot at um, at Bellows. Okay, if I've, got, if I've got a, do I have a line on? Him? He's in cover right now. He's behind the statue. Yeah, but this place okay. is full of sniper rifles. You could just. I want to have the Yeah, yeah, that's true. Well, in that case... Uh, he's in near total cover. I he's in near say. total Whereas cover. the well, guys on the roof are out in the open. So. Okay, I, I'm at the end of my... Uh, we're at the you end of try, the kind you of can, cycle. You can hit people in near in total cover. cover. It's just there is a lot, there'll be a lot of penalties to your roll. Well, I'd like to use the dynamite that I lifted off the lacy, though. <laughs> okay. Do that again. So I just, like, spin the d dynamite stick end over end. Okay, I guess that would be an athletics roll, throwing dynamite, so... Yeah. Yeah, give me a... But I can do an athletics roll and a shooting roll, or what are we doing here? You could light the dynamite, and then you wouldn't have to do a shooting roll. Um... It's up to you. Yeah, we could always... If you're, doing, if you're throwing way. and shooting, then yeah. there'll be a minus Penalty two to, to the each. throwing and a minus four to the shooting. All right, then we'll light so, it since you also like so even generously if you, offer. If we, you throw <laughs> lit dynamite at yeah. him, yeah. Like the the downside is that he has time to react, but, but he, he might move he, out yeah, of he cover. Yeah, he might scarper out of cover. Yeah. Out of cover yeah. yeah, yeah, straight into dead man Nate. All right, I uh, I light the dynamite, stick a dynamite off a gas lamp on the wall or something like that, and then sure. hurl it end over end at the statue, right, the uh, remains of the statue. Athletics. Roll okay, I can, I can do athletics. Two. I'm skilled in athletics, nice. somewhat. That's a six. Um, Nate, Followed I'm going to give you a Benny for coming back to life. Four. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. All right, that's a ten. So that's one and a raise. Oh, uh, yeah. The dynamite um, goes hurtling end over end. It's got a short fuse. Okay. Towards the uh, really towards the statue, the, the throw is good. Um, and I guess. What Bellows will have to do? move on his turn yeah. if he wants to try and do anything about this. Um, so that's the end of the initiative order. You need right. to deal when you. Oh right, yeah. You don't loop around. Do no. You? Oh, yeah. You can't. Oh boy. Cool. Um, okay, so having sustained two wounds, I'm minus three to all actions because of a hindrance called tenderfoot. Oh. oh. Delicate. Yeah. Delicate. Ooh. He's Fragile. only little. He's a little baby. Oh. Yes, so we're going to go rounds again with the, the dealing. So the Lacey, I'm going to line these up properly. Let's down this garnet. Uh-huh. Oh, again? Nate. Oh, the Joker. Oh, may I have another? Oh, oh, yeah. No. Three for Nate. Oh, oh. oh. Sorry, wow. Hinges is kicking our asses. Very honest, yeah. Um, bellows. Game's okay. so easy when you're winning. <laughs> so hard when you're losing. It's an ace for gunman number one. Yeah, right. Sorry, gunman number. Roof gunman number one. 
Spine gunman number one. <laughs> the gunman number one is still in play. Uh, gunman number three. Gunman number four. Uh huh. And then number five gets an ace. All right. Uh, all right. So uh, round two is starting. Uh, gunman number one and gunman number four both have aces. So they sort of uh, they look at each other and they're like, after you. And then gunman number one uh, will raise his rifle. Um, he's going to fire at the building that you're in, but you're in mm-hmm. cover, right? Mm-hmm. Gregory Uzi's weapons in Yeah. <laughs> How much cover would you say that you're in? Uh, I mean, yeah, I was in the, the doorway, shop. but I didn't stay, just stand there in the doorway like a lemon. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Gregory yeah. Atling's wonderful mechanical gun. <laughs> <laughs> multi barreled gun. So I'd say you're probably in heavy cover yeah. rather than near total. Um, so, yeah, three quarters of the target is obscured. That's a minus six to his. his yeah. So he's going to have a hard time of well, it. No chance. Yeah, just uh, peeking out from behind a door frame. Also, yeah, children are small. Yeah. Famously. He has not succeeded. He fires, but it thuds into the wall in front of you. The other guy is going to do the same. Uh, he also fails. The bullet whistles through the uh, through the window, but doesn't come anywhere near you. Um, okay, it's now Bellows' turn. So the key. What's he going to do? Bleed out from his neck wounds? No, he's not, exploded he's, by he's, the dynamite. He, yeah, the, so the dynamite's coming towards him. Um, he's going to move. He's going to run out of cover and try and get into a different kind of cover. Mm. Um, so yeah, he is going to run out from behind the statue and he's going to run across to the sort of other side of the street. Um, while he's doing that, I think he's going to try and take a pot shot at you, Nate, because you're still out in the street. Understandable. Um, but that's going to be a disadvantage. Not disadvantage. It's going to be a penalty. Maybe close to death, he thinks Nate is just a, a vengeful spirit come to mm, drag him revenant. down to hell. Uh, before I do anything, I need to do a spirit roll. Ah, yeah. so, oh my god, if he doesn't unshake, he's just going to sit there. <laughs> just <laughs> While the dynamite yeah. lands in his crotch. Yeah, right? brilliant. <laughs> lands in his lap. Good. I don't know why I specified Is he crotch. shaking? Does he stay shaking? <sighs> he's, no, he's not shaking. Oh. Uh, he unshakes, sees the dynamite coming towards um, him, and then he sort of scrambles out from behind the cover, starts running across the street, and at the same time, he's sort of like shielding himself from the upcoming blast. He's just going to fire off a shot. Um, at you, Nate, which is going to be da, 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 one of these, one of these. Uh, no, he misses. Bullet goes wide. Um, yeah, roll a four and a one. Good job, idiot. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so he shoots at you, bullet goes wide, and he sort of carries on across the other side of the street, but he is now out of out of his cover. Uh, cool, who's going, who is it next? This guy. Yes, Galacy, it is your turn. All right. Well, uh, I want to. I mean, the the window was just shot through, right? Just kind of above mm-hmm. our head where we're hunkering. So, like, having received a lot of like broken glass and top of my hat, uh, I'm just gonna like, I, I'm gonna look out the window and hopefully, just as I see Bellows walking past, I'm just gonna shakily because I'm hurt bad. Draw, draw rooster and just. Okay. Uh, yeah. You need to unshake. First off. Yeah, yeah, god yeah, of course. Uh, okay, so how do I do that again? That's a... It's a spirit roll. Spirit. Okay. You just need to succeed. Just need to succeed. So that's 2d6. Simply succeed. That's a 1 oh. and a 4. Yes. So that is that's a success, success, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. <sighs> it's seeing Nate. Seeing Nate has invigorated me. Mm. Uh, cool. Yeah, so I would like to shoot Bellows, please. For what I hope will be the final time. Uh, okay, do a... Uh, shooting roll. Okay. He's not in cover, which will help. Uh, but I'm minus three to this roll because mm. of events. So that is a d10 and my d6. And so it's minus three, but it's plus one for trademark weapon and plus one for marksman. Mm-hmm. So it's minus actually one. only minus one. Okay. That's a nine. Yes. Uh, and a one. Um, so that's a nine. So yeah, yeah, that's a that's a nine minus one is eight. Um, okay, that's yeah. yeah. Hit with the race. Hit with the race. Hit with the race. Yeah. yeah. So roll damage for your gun. Okay. Remind me, sorry. Oh, um, 
two d eight plus one. Yeah, it should say what your gun oh, specific yeah. damage is. Okay. Do we do we roll the lucky d six as well for this? You don't. But a raise gets you an extra d six. Oh right. Okay. Cool. So that would be one. Eight. Could you mind if I borrow a d eight? Oh yeah, yeah. Where's my d eight? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, there okay. you go. You got it. Cool. Uh, and one d six for the raise. So that is five plus six. Plus five. five. Do the um, does the do dice explode when we do this? Oh, they do. Okay, so that's five and five, so they're set. So it's ten plus six, uh-huh. which is where are we? Sixteen, 16. plus one, so seventeen. So that's a success with a raise. Um, normally, yeah, normally that would kill him. I'm going to try and soak the damage uh, from this shot. All right. So I need to do a vigor, a little scrap of neck roll, <laughs> <laughs> flapping around. Yeah. It's like, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, where's my old stat block? I fly backwards from the ring, <laughs> <laughs> which puts me back in cover. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I also need to spend a Benny to do that. Yeah, that's one success, uh, which oh, means no. I remove the wound. So you soaked and, that. Yeah, he's been hit, but it's like he's sort of shaken off and he's still running. Uh, he is still shaken, though, so... Okay. He's All on right. the run. He's on the okay. run. He's very badly hurt. Good. This is bad times. Good. Uh, okay. okay, who's next? Uh, it's a four, I believe. No, it's six. six. There's a six over there. A goon man. A goon man is going to fire. Uh, yeah. So this gunman's trying to shoot at you again through the window, but that's at a penalty, so it's just, again, harmlessly pings off. Uh, and then there's a gunman next to him. He's going to do the same thing. That is a two. That will not do it. So... Round two, Nate or Garnet, whoever's going to go. Go for it. All right. I I, um, sidestep back into the doorway of the gun shop Mm -hmm. and I uh, whip out my deck of cards and I'm no Mm -hmm. longer trying to conceal what I'm doing. And I uh, cast a hex up at the rooftop and I kind of like arc my hand like so and cast a, a kind of Catherine wheel like arc of sparks cool. at them nice. or I try to all right right Let's okay so that works. means um, I need to cast for a burst with my smarts which is a d8 there we go That's six and this will cost me a mere two power points and that's a six on my six so that's a two so that's an eight so that's okay. hit with a raise what's the damage on this burst? three targets it's a multi-target hex okay wow 3d6 nice. or 4d6 with a raise so that's i'll take 4d6 with a raise please <laughs> for the two roofy gunmen Dang. that's a one. Oh, plus a one that's disappointing but that's two plus six is an eight plus a five is a 13. Does that six explode again? Oh yeah, right. So let's just roll this one again. So that's 13 plus... Oh wait, do you add them all? Yeah. That's 13 plus a six again, which is 19, plus a six again, if you would believe it, which is a 25, plus a... Now, come on, you're being silly. That's a six again. So that's a 31 plus a four that time, which is a 35. Okay, well, the the gunman's toughness is five. Yeah. Right, it's an arc of sparks that travels so eighteen a, a yards success up onto the rooftop. Races. Okay, yeah. Um, so you're hitting. Do you say it hits three targets? It hits three targets, but there are obviously two on the rooftop. There's, so. there's another two on the. You could hit three on the. It's a kind of fan shape, so okay. it depends how generous you want to interpret, like sort of fan. I think for that many raises, shape. I'm going to let you hit three people with it. Okay, well then I sort of jubilee it and just like double yeah. hand. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, what happens to them? Well, the sparks hit them and kind of like burrow into their flesh. And kind of like with a kind of, you know, like when you put a cigarette out on skin, the kind of hiss. Damn. And they, in agony, they fall stumbling from the roof and burn up on the way down. Uh, okay. Like, <laughs> three three of the gunmen are down. There is now just one left and bellows. And uh, Nate, it's your turn. Jimmy, you crickets! You're some kind of witch or something. <laughs> we'll talk about it. we got a lot of stuff to talk about after. Oh, what? You know. I'm thinking you should have entered the duel. Uh. <laughs> So I'm just going to like, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I'm just closing in on Bellows. I'm just going to try and, and just point blank, just just wipe him out with a shotgun. Do it. Can't be see. reasoned with. Go for it. <laughs> Won't be reasoned with. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, we'll Benny that, won't we? Yeah. We'll absolutely Benny that. Stand it. 
That's more like it. That's an eight on the eight and a six on the six. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, so ten is my highest result, which is a hit with a raise. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Go for it. Roll, roll your, uh, your damage. Uh, uh, cool. That would be four d six. Yeah. Uh, let's see, that's a four, five, that's not great, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve damage. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, okay, so you, you raise your shotgun, uh, you can see you sort of panic start to come into um, Bellow's eyes. He's like, now hold on there, let's talk about this. No! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, he goes flying like six feet backwards with two massive ragged holes in him. Yes. Hits the deck and moves no more. Bellows is dead. I'm just gonna go. I won! Ah. <laughs> uh, the the other gunman on the roof sees this and um, I think will decide. get shot by the lace. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's just gonna be like, uh, okay, like. With Bellows down, there's no need for him to be in this fight anymore. So it's just like... Hands are up. You better. Right. Taking us out of combat initiative so you can do what you want. But he is <laughs> surrendering. I, no, I mean, all I, want, all I want to do is hug Nate's clammy corpse. Holy yeah. corpse. Yeah, clammy living corpse. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'm going to... We walk out into the street. Hobble, yeah. yeah, yeah. Can you support me? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm I'm hailing the doctor. Yeah, yeah. And we're like yeah, like helping Delacy over, but trying to hail the doctor. Oh yeah, yeah. The doctor, the doctor. The doctor Debunson. Doctor, make yourself yeah. useful for once. I got someone who's not a corpse for you. Oh, so. Okay, okay. Let me have a look at you, young man. Lot of opium jerky in it for you if you make all this go away. Oh, well, I can go with some jerky. Yeah. He licks his lips, ready to eat all that lovely opium. Yeah, focus up, <laughs> I can't, can't concentrate when you eat opium, young man. Where is it? Is it inside you? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, the doc's looking at Delacy. But not before you reunite with Nate. Mm. Yeah. Oh, you are all you are horribly banged up, young mm. man. Covered in warm, vital blood. <laughs> Where's your blood? <laughs> oh, um... <sighs> I, I don't. Let's get you patched up. I pass my hand cleanly through Nate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You the can big see me on the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah we look at each other. <laughs> I'll be perfectly honest with you, young man. I I don't really know. Well, I do, but let's get away from. Let's get away from this guy. And then we'll, we'll talk about it. Um, do we need a ring first, though? Oh yeah. I, st- I, p- I put my boot on his hand oh, yeah. and I reach down and wrench this ring off his finger. There's a horrible crunch. <laughs> um, yeah, you take the ring off. It's a gold signet ring. Um, on the front of it um, is a sort of enamel uh, symbol. It bears the symbol of a gun. We got it. My vision's starting to like tunnel a little bit, but like... <laughs> Nug- nuggets. Oh, right, the gold ones. Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. I'm only little. I want chicken nuggets. Oh, chicken nuggets. <laughs> I did think of them before I thought of the gold ones. Same. <laughs> yeah. Lacey wants chicken nuggets. <laughs> Can I look around? Is the is the prize winner's chest anywhere? Because they brought it down. No, they only brought it down for the start of the contest, didn't they? Yeah, it'll be back up at the house. Um, All right, I'm we'll sure get the nuggets. Well, now that the guards are gone, I'm sure there'll be plenty of time to retrieve. Yeah, yeah, let's mm. get you patched up first. If he's bandaged enough to be out of mortal danger, mm-hmm. then we sort of make our way to the manor. Yeah. And see if we can't find ourselves a, a chest of a Yeah, chest we can, of we can montage we can montage this. So you, um, you head up uh, to the house, you open the door. It's a sort of, like, disgustingly opulent mansion in which... Uh, Bellows used to live, but uh, can we now... open the door for the townsfolk? Can we just like, yeah, yeah. I mean, you find the just, it's, like boot the doors open. It's and... pretty obvious where the chest is. You yeah. retrieve that, and then um, you want to leave the doors open for the townsfolk. Yeah, um, yeah. There's a smoking crater where Bellows statue used to be. His body is still lying in the street. The people earlier who were pulling the boots off of uh, <laughs> Rex Randall and Co are doing the same to Bellows. They're taking his sort of fine boots and his his fine belt and his hat. A, a small boy is wearing his hat and running around going, ah, oh, Benjamin Bellows. And running around. <laughs> so, yeah, it seems like the the mood in the town has shifted. Um, you could say the fear level is lower now. Um, you might say that. But why yeah. Did, why did nobody take any of my belongings when I was lying dead in the street? I 
guess no one was hungry for beans. They were too stinky, mister. <laughs> Says a small boy. That's fair enough, young man. You don't talk to my friend like that. You watch it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Your friend's real stinky. Whoa. It's enough revenge I'll do for you right one now. day. <laughs> I'm younger and crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, You've yeah. had enough revenge, young man. <laughs> so yeah, we we pan out on the the three of you dragging this this chest of, of chicken nuggets yeah. back to the <laughs> back to the buggy where the uh, yeah. um, the buggy driver is just starting to come round from his opium. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, on, on the like journey that. back, we have a discussion about what it, what what is a huckster and what is a harrowed. Yes, and what is a harrowed? Because that is. Indeed, what Nate has become. What is a harrow? Well, we'll find out next time Nate is in an episode <laughs> of Oxventure <laughs> Presents Deadlands. Thank you so much uh, for watching, everyone. Thank you again to our sponsor, Misty Mountain Gaming. Remember to check the link in the description of this video if you want to get your own Misty Mountain Gaming dice or to enter a competition to win your own set. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks to Misty Mountain for their support. And thanks to the wonderful players for such a great session. Thank we'll you, Andy. Thanks, Marshall. Thanks, Marshall. Bye. Bye.